upside down now. I'm high as a kite. Where is that man? Where's Weed Man? I feel like Weed Man is making me high as a kite and I don't know what to do. Now let's check on my pet. She gonna be upside down too? I have no idea. Nope, she's dead. All right, she's dead. How's it gonna be body maintenance, Jesse? Guns, bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Bang and romper two, goodbye despair. So, this is probably gonna be my final episode of the game. It has been a long ride and you're in chapter six now. And I am left highly confused as to what happened at the end of the last episode. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on exactly, if I'm going crazy, if I'm not. So before I dive on in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like for your girl from social media, other stuff, and let's begin. Where am I? Oh, what is going on? Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school at all. What a creepy place. At least it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is hosting academy. Is this creepy place the hosting academy that I've admired for so long? It's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the fun house. That's right, that's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go and definitely clear things up. Oh my God. Look, look, look at this, look at this. Like, why is that all glitched out? Why is that, I can't go that way. Like, why is everything all glitched out? The Monokuma room is glitched out. Everything is like, look, look, look. And I saw, hold on, I saw this, I saw this sign. I saw this sign in the first game. I saw this sign in the first game and we were looking up the top level. So what, what is that connecting to? What is that connecting to? Can't go to the school store. Can't go out there. Everything is just, look, look. Oh my goodness. And that's the only thing that's untouched. This is creeping me out. The gymnasium is here, right? All right, I'm going inside. Something might be waiting, but I'm not going to cower anymore. And so I brace myself and cautiously open the door. What is going on, y'all? This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. Well, I got the perfect shirt for it again, since y'all mentioned it. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for what was waiting for me on the other side of that door. Who's? It was a normal school gymnasium. Damn right. Yo, Hajime. Yeah. You heard the announcement that came here too. You guys did too, right? What's going on? Hey, what do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Host Week Academy or something. That cannot be possible. No. You're right, anyway, yeah. you look at it, it's impossible. Yeah. Hello, how does it feel to return to long-awaited Host Week Academy? Right. You. you. Hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? Yes. What a shock, I just told you guys this is Host Week Academy. There's no way in hell that's true. No, no. Oh, but it is. I mean, this is definitely Host Week Academy. Well, what's left of it anyway? What's left of it? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Host Week Academy fell to ruin. Why? You were serious about that? <laughs> I don't believe it. But of course it fell to ruin. I mean, they were doing things that they deserved to be ruined for. What do you mean? Like anyway, I'm pretty disappointed. I went to all this trouble to bring you to Hosting Academy and you don't feel surprised or nostalgic. Fine, fine. Oh well, it's not like I did this for you guys. Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. My ass, okay? Because all of this is bringing up memories of the last game. Enough with this bullshit, just spit it out already. Where'd you take us, you bastard? Though I'm not certain of my memories, I believe we entered the ancient ruin, and it means I made this whole academy between the door to the ruin and the inside of the ruin. What do you mean between? What do you mean made? Oh my, are your minds getting the grumblies that only knowledge can satisfy? Good, very good. It's fine to hurry along to the graduation exam, but it's in my nature to provide a little entertainment. Entertainment? You're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way. It's nothing to be so cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. It's just a simple graduation exam. Huh? Then what is the graduation exam? Hey. Well, um, as a headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know. On one hand, I'm really happy that you're finally going to graduate. Sure? But on the other hand, I'm worrying about whether you guys will be okay in the outside world. So... That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make a decision. Well, in the first game, it looked like it was just all chaos like the world was basically the apocalypse and it was a whole bunch of like monokuma heads everywhere so i don't know if it's the same well it should be shouldn't it since this is after the first game it should be i think whatever whether you want to leave jabberwock island or stay here huh we're obviously gonna get out. There's no way we stay here. This is annoying. Just hurry up and let us choose. Let us choose right now. No, no, no. You can't do that. The main cast hasn't arrived yet. Main cast? 
Meaning you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives. So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start researching the outside world. What do you mean? Uh -huh. I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research throughout Hostage Academy. Well, I don't think this needs to be said, but all the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is gonna hate me. So please, rest assured and strive to do your best during your full field trip. <laughs> And as usual, after leaving us with his cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even if the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. What is going on? Outside world, main cast. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey. Like he kept insisting that this place is Host Week Academy. Mm. But that's impossible, right? How we make it back to Host Week Academy from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible. It There's no place for Host Week Academy to exist on Jabberwock Island. <laughs> I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. What does this mean? So many things I don't understand have happened on this island. This building is really hosting Academy? I think so, yes? I mean, it looks exactly like it. This is hosting Academy I've been admiring for so long. What in the world is going on? Damn it, why is this happening? Why? Mm, I was finally able to attend hosting Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I wanted to become hope. If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hostie Academy that you couldn't even see that? You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had a talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody, that's all. Like, damn, he read me for filth, okay? He did. <laughs> if I really am a nobody, then you should have just left me alone. Why do I have to go through something like this? Hajime, did something happen? Hey, bastard. Now's at the time to zone out. Sorry, it's nothing. Um, I don't really get it, but is that all? As long it. as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Hey. Just what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um, if you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Geez. Even though Chiaki and Monomi are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit, which means the Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I could think of. You serious? So they're not world ender? Then we, we were really tricked by Monokuma? However, the Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monami never once denied that. Even if they're our allies, they might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate the information on our own. Hmm, Chiaki says she could not betray the Future Foundation, but if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. No, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Hmm. So what should we do? Damn it. Well, that's obvious. If we're gonna get out of here safely, we have to do that graduation exam, right? Oh, graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. Well, I guess it's better than people dying. Jeez. Monokuma said something about a field trip, right? Is he telling us to investigate like we have been? All right, All right I'm gonna so do it. <laughs> like... You might be able to learn about something, about hosting Academy, about ourselves. Uh... I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just go back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey! We can go back home when this is over, right? We can finally get off this damn island, right? <laughs> if that's the case, let's all leave this island alive by all, any means. Of course. Hell yes. Okay, he's right. Now's not the time to bemoan how unlucky I am. Where this place really is, what's happened to Hosting Academy, none of that matters. What's important is I need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But Monokuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. He should already know that we'd never choose to stay on this island. Hey, hey. So what are we gonna do? Can we start already? Mm. But what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate this weird ass building? Even so. even so, I don't think we'll find the answers to all our questions inside this damn building. Uh, well, I'll just go on ahead for now. Oh, hey, you already going? Geez. What is that idiot thinking running ahead without being cautious? Man. She obviously isn't thinking about anything. However, It will be fine. There will no longer be any situations where we must exchange each other's lives. Right. So we should do our best as well. Like they say, it is not scary if everyone stops at a green light. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's actually very, very scary, okay? If everyone stops at a green light, somebody gonna crash, all right? <laughs> if we stopped at the green light, we'd never reach our goal. <laughs> Akane already took off on her own. It might be faster if we split up and look around too. <laughs> Like Sonya said, if there's no more killing, we don't have to worry about anyone betraying us anymore. <laughs> then let's get this over with and go home. Yeah. I'll go on ahead. I'll see you guys later. With those brief words, Fuyuhiko left the gymnasium. I shall do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Sonya took a deep bow, then left the gymnasium. Oh Miss Sutton, he gonna follow Sonya. after her. 
Please don't leave me. I'll be in danger from left alone. Kazuichi simped after Sonia, and who had just departed and left the gymnasium. I should hurry and start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more and it's gonna end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual peaceful everyday life. The only thing we can do is advance toward that hope. Even though I don't understand and that a lot of horrifying things keep happening. For the sake of everyone who couldn't make it this far, I'm definitely gonna go home. All right, so now I gotta investigate this place. Um, oh, oh, what? Hello? Oh, I so knew you could do it. There's Monica and dolls here too? There, oh, it's, it is a lot. There is a lot going on here. Okay, so let me let me leave. Let me leave. So there's Monica and dolls here as well. Okay. Well, huh? That's weird. This is the hallway I walked through to get to the gymnasium, but it's clearly different. Is this Monokuma's doing too? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent, but I'm not gonna fall for his trap. There's no way this will make me back down. So am I even allowed to go? No, I can't go in those rooms. What the hell? Okay. All right. Um. This hallway, there's a strange feeling to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. Is it just me? No, it's, it's everything. Everything is all digitalized. Like, what about, oh, so I can go in here. I can go in the dojo. Huh. Oh, what are, this reminded me of Sakura. I can't help it. Okay. Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. Um, what is this? What is this? Is this a manga? The title is Manga for Morons, The History of Posting Academy by Monokuma. Huh? Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying out in the open like this? <laughs> for us to find, obviously. Let's start with history first, class. Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. Then what's the first you ask? That depends on the person. So just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it looks. I really do want to just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fine, I'll look at it. I'll look at anything that might be a clue to getting out of here, no matter what it is. What the, they got a little waifu on the, co all right, whatever. <laughs> I picked up the manga off the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction to Hosting Academy history as narrated by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with the introduction to Hosting Academy. Hosting Academy is a government funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders of various industries. New students are chosen through a scouting process, but the ones who scout them are Hosting Academy's teachers, who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hosting Academy isn't just a school for talent, it is also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hosting Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. If this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress with their research of talent. So they decided to implement a new system, the Reserve Department. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the Reserve Department that utilizes a general entrance exam. Normal faculty was hired and placed in charge of looking at the reserve department. The expenses and exam fees for the reserve department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hosting Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Hosting Academy was now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hosting Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent to create Hosting Academy's earnest wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. The incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That's right, it was the tragedy of Hosting Academy, which we were trying to uncover in the first game. Hosting Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. That's it? That's it? Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly canceled in the middle of its run. Plus, these phrases mentioned at the end of this manga, the tragedy and the tragedy of Hosting Academy. These names are so melodramatic. There's no way these incidents really happen, right? This manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but no, it'd just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something because of this manga, the reserve department. That department was only built to collect money. I was one of the reserve core students, right? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, you're here again. Oh, the thing that's weird. It's you, of course. Huh? Why did you forget that you were part of the reserve department? The Future Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you answered that you had no talent, right? Well, damn, just shit on me. Like, good God. I, I know I'm average, okay? You ain't gotta rub it in my face. God. 
so, I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that too. What do you want me to say? Hmm, based on my assumption, the Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those reserved core students. Or you willingly sealed those memories yourself. Huh? You wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. Kind of, kind of true, yes. It happens pretty often. Not that I know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. When things got inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a reserved course suit. Damn it, what the heck? Okay, so they just gonna roast me this entire time. I got it. I got it. Oh. Oh, look at these. Oh, and then the flowers. Oh, can I look at the lockers? Bunch of wooden lockers here. Okay, there's nothing in particular. Is there a Monokuma doll anywhere in here? I don't see any up or down. I don't see anything else in here, so let me leave. All right, so we looked at the dojo. This should be... Oh, this was the little garden area. Okay, so I can't go to the garden area. Let's leave out of this area. Oh, hello. What's going on? This hallway is kind of creepy. I can't go to places that I should be able to go. It's like some rules being enforced for no reason. <laughs> it's like there's an invisible wall or something. Yeah, there definitely is. So, oh, I can't go over here into that room. I, oh, hell. Oh, I can't go here either. I can't go to the bio room either. Everything is just blocked off for me. I can't even look around properly. Okay, so I can't go downstairs. Can't go anywhere else. So it's like, do I just go back into the classroom? I don't know. Oh, what is any, what is that? This is another manga, it's laying on top of the desk. Um, This one is Manga for Morons, The Tragedy of Postic Academy. Ooh. Was it the tragedy of Postic Academy mentioned in that other manga too? It's why Postic Academy went bankrupt and it was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history. If I read this manga, will I be able to learn a little more about the incident? Huh, let's see. I need answers. I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages. Oh, is this Kyoko's dad? Is this Kyoko's dad? I'm thinking that this is Kyoko's dad. Wow, okay. To see what I could learn about the event known as the Tragedy Postic Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is, as the name suggests, the tragedy of Postic Academy occurred at Postic Academy. The key player in that event was a student named Uzuru Kamukura. Uzuru was a genius known as a symbol of hope. Postic Academy used all of their resources to develop him. Supposedly, Uzuru was a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents. Building a superior talent for the hope of mankind, the Academy referred to Uzuru as the ultimate hope. That's Mako Makoto was ultimate hope too. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed the evidence of Uzuru's Uz Izuru? Izuru's origins and identity. Because of that, most of the students at the academy were completely unaware of Izuru's existence. But Izuru, who's known as a symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. 13 students of Postic Academy Student Council, among the academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Izuru. However, the incident did not end there. The academy tried to protect Uzuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as though it never happened. However, a certain student began working in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That student uncovered what the academy did, and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of reserved course students who had been long dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. And the uprising began, and that heralded the Pope's Peak Academy's destruction. This is the entirety of the tragedy of Tulsi Academy. Eventually, that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastating incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Word cited, Danganronpa Zero. Is that another game? Or something? With the heavy side, closed the manga. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Tulsi Academy. Yeah. Yeah. What irony. For a genius known as the ultimate hope to cause such a gruesome incident, a talent like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a bar of gold. Oh, you should be lucky that you're incompetent. Damn it, he always has to lead up to something offensive. He seriously pisses me off, but ultimate hope. Nagato mentioned that before too, but it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagato said was the true meaning of hope, but for Izuru, hope simply means talent. 
More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in a reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. Here, it said that the reserve course students in the reserve department began uprising. Then what about me? Was I a participant too? No, that's, poss that's not possible. There's no way I have no reason to do something like that. Huh. I'm trying to add up what happened, y'all, because I'm still confused. Anyway, I've learned about the tragedy of Tulsi Academy, but the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is a far worse incident, right? What kind of incident was it? And who's this other student that isn't Izuru? A certain student who secretly used the incident to their advantage. Who is that? This incident is really messed up, but all it's doing is raising more questions. The mysteries just kept piling up. I don't know why I'm thinking that Junko was the one that they're talking about when they say, like, a certain student used it to her advantage, because when all this happened, Junko basically took over the school and killed Kyoko's dad. So I'm guessing that I'm I'm only making an assumption that they're talking about Junko. If I'm wrong, then, you know, it's going to tell me. But I think it's Junko that they're talking about. Or Junko, however the hell you want to say her name, damn it. Because I know it's going to be some smart ass in the comments. Oh, I don't know how you say her name. I, I, I know. I'm not Japanese. Okay, so we searched that building. Can I go downstairs? Nope, can't Still can't go downstairs. Still can't go downstairs. Can I go this way? Is there anything else that maybe has unlocked? Oh, this did. Okay, cool. So I can go in the bio lab now. So everything is opening up one by one for me. Got it. And this is where the bodies were. So I'm just gonna be reading manga this whole time, apparently. What the hell is with this room? It's freaking cold in here. It's like I'm in a freezer or something. If I just stand still, I might end up freezing to death. I should hurry up and investigate so I can get out of here already. Uh, oh, 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 hold on. I see that. I see you. I see you. I've been found. There we go. I saw you. I saw your ass. All right. Let's look at this. Oh, so there's another manga just laying around here. This time the title is Manga for Morns, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. I knew it. The next one would obviously be about this incident, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, huh? Just what was this incident really all about? It might just turn out to be something lame. Huh, I flipped through the pages of the manga and hoped that I was right. So what's this about now? Huh. Okay, it might be a horror manga. <laughs> a story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. An incident known as the biggest one's awful. Oh yeah, we got it. Okay, is this drawn so grotesquely because the incident itself is that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Post Week Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the reserve course students that triggered the tragedy of Post Week Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students, and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet and began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishable from any other demonstration inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, certain abnormalities soon came to light. By then, it was too late. The ends of the means had vanished, and wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them, and soon the weak formed factions to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear, as if the era was regressing to more uncivilized times when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism and coup d'etats began occurring around the world. A war waged in the name of despair. A war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain. Just war. Pure war. And because of that, there was no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by high school students progress to such a hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hosting Academy. A group called Ultimate Despair. Yeah. So I'm really thinking that this certain student is Junko, uh, or Junko, whatever her name is. I'm thinking that it's her, okay, that they're talking about. Instead of using Hosting Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they use them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. Huh. 
Uh-uh. My heart was racing in my chest, my body felt ice cold, and it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, this is definitely all made up. Uh, no, it's not. I mean, if this is really true, then what's happening in the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What's happened to them? Hey, hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy. Who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh my, you don't like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga is like an office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. <laughs> okay, enough. What is this messed up manga? I thought you'd obviously know about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember that such despair. That's the Future Foundation's fault though, thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. This incident really happened and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. How many saying? times do I have to tell you? All the clues here are real. Please understand, I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just wanna help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. I see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. He's trying to make us feel despair toward the outside world so we'll want to stay on this island. But there's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. The outside world should be filled with hope, just like now. Perhaps, no, that's definitely it. Huh. Is he trying to, ch I, no. Whether or not this incident really happened, what in the world is this ultimate despair group? If they're devoted to a certain student who guided Holtzik Academy to its destruction, are they connected to both the tragedy and the tragedy of Holtzik Academy? Plus, that organization isn't just one person, but a group of people. But if they're known as Ultimate Despair, they're high school students, right? Well, if they were actually able to do it, then I guess that's why they were called Ultimate. Then, are the killings we're involved in connected to them as well? It's no use, I'm going to freeze to death. I'm at my limit, I need to get out of here. Shivering, I ran out of the freezing room. Sheesh, all right. Oh, that was close, I nearly froze to death. So where should I go next? I have no idea, everything is opening up one by one, I have no idea. It would have been nice if this would open up, but you know, it's not going to, because that will be too easy. Um, let's see, the garden maybe? The garden? The, nope, can't go there. Can't go there, already went to the dojo. Um, oh, this classroom opened up. So let's look at this. Oh? What? No, I should ignore it. I'm going to pretend I didn't see him. Um, is he really there? Well, hello, Hajime. I hope you're doing pleasingly well. Are you pleasingly well? You're pleasingly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no. Well, there's another thing I needed to tell you on this floor. I got bored of drawing manga, so can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have done that from the beginning. I didn't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like eating hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up, what did you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about that key piece of information you've been waiting so long for. Surprise, it's about ultimate despair. Every time we mention something, he brings it up. Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, it was originally the title for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and feared person alive. A high school girl? Yes, Lady Ju- Yes, I knew it! I knew it, I knew it was that girl. I knew it was her, I knew it. Junko, as the former Ultimate Despair, she created a despair brimming with charm and humor and created the Ultimate Despairs. There was only one really horrible person in that group. Hold on a sec, I don't know what the Ultimate Despairs are, but it's not that easy to form an organization. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. I agree, because that's kind of like how cults form. Like, cults form with people that are looking for guidance from somebody, and then that one certain person that's the leader usually has, like, a lot of charisma and charm and to make you feel like you're welcome and all this other stuff to please you, to make you feel good about yourself that you can stay with them. So, that does happen. That holds true for Lady Junko. With her charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those in the highest echelons of power. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat? Then what was their purpose? What? Like I said, why did they cause that incident? It doesn't even make sense. They had a purpose, right? There's no way they do what they did without any purpose. It was Junko's Inoshima's despair. Huh? For Junko, despair isn't about purpose, a set of principles, a way of life, or an instinct. Despair is what defines Junko as Junko. What are you saying? I'm a stuffed plushie. Hajime's a human. It's exactly like that. Junko is full of so much despair that she's truly hopeless. 
Living, dying, eating, loving. For her, everything is despair. What the hell? With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. That idea had been slammed right into their minds. And so, the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko. Like believers making offerings to their god, like a mother providing food to her children, they dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair, all in Junko's name. For example, they killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something that they had to do. There's no way something that crazy is possible. Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students during the tragedy of Postseek Academy? Final days? Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true of famous people throughout history. Hey, what do you mean final days? What happened to the Reserve Department? They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. And so the 2,357 students at the Reserve Department all committed mass suicide. Oh my god, this is almost like like that phrase where they say, uh, like, like, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Cause like, that's how a mass suicide happened with another cult leader. So I, this is, this is getting creepy. This is getting creepy. Mass suicide. All 2000 students? Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. What, Hajime? One person was excluded, huh? Is that me? I don't believe it. There's no way I could believe this. Ultimate despair, Junko. It doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Junko's already dead. How do you know that? How do you know that, Fuyuhiko? How does how does he know that? How does he know? What the hell is going on? I don't know. <laughs> how do you know that, Fuyuhiko? Speak up. Is it true what you said? Junko's really dead? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Manga for Morons Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait. Was that what you was... Said about the sp oh wait hold on that bloody classroom that was upstairs from the last game okay so that's where he found it. I was about to say how does he know that she's dead but all right we got it like the killings we were involved in they were killings that happened at Hostic Academy as I recall Mastermind took her own life because remaining students worked together oh, to defeat yeah. her yeah that's what it was the killing school life ended up failing in the end as a result the six students who survived managed to escape from the academy for manga about the killing school life it was drawn with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed killing school life was Junko. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko is dead. Like. It turns out that killing school life was part of that whole biggest, most awful whatever incident. Junko took away the memories of former students of Postseek Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students of Postseek Academy and she took away their memories. That's just like us. Apparently the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? The students of Postseek Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. But that's messed up plan was stopped. Junko failed. Junko lost to the students she placed in her trap. And after becoming overcome by the despair she created, she took her own life. Then Junko is no more. Yo, are they saying, okay, they keep cutting to Monokuma not saying anything. So are they saying to me that Junko is still alive somehow, even though I saw her ass get smashed to pieces in the first game? Or was that not really her? Was that an imposter too? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not doesn't matter. Junko isn't alive anymore. Then who's our enemy? If Junko is already dead, are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out her will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings were involved in resemble that killing school life. <laughs> well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko and making us go through this, but an imitation is just that, an imitation. No shit. If the students from Hope Seek Academy stop the real deal, there's no way we'll lose to some fate. But this is really an imitation. Are those surveillance cameras the same too? But were they really recording us? Are they broadcasting to somewhere just like the surveillance cameras during the killing school life? Huh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why do I feel like she's not dead? Man, Hajime, you totally know about that story, huh? What, do you have a problem with that? 
Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to draw what it. Oh, do? well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? What do you mean, raise the flag? What's going to happen if you do that? Ooh. One step at a time, you're getting closer so to clearing my character route. You're not making sense again. Really? Now then, I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. I'll raise them flags like crazy. Um, so what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, you know what? I just noticed that these now are saying stuff in English because before, in the first game, these little scrolls were not English and now they're in English. Because the other room it said something else and this one it said despair. So, huh. I wonder if that means anything. Oh, wow, so now I'm on another floor. Huh? It changed to a different hallway again. It's so sudden, what's going on to make something like this happen? No, I've already decided that I'm not gonna be surprised. That's right, there's no time for me to be surprised by something like this. Okay, so I'm in a whole nother hallway. And then there goes Akane. How you doing, girl? Akane's twitching her nose like a beast and examining her surroundings. Hey, what happened? Well, you know, it's just my gut, but I feel like someone's getting closer. Huh? What do you mean, who? I don't know, it's just my gut after all. It's just my gut. So, who's coming? But still, her gut is pretty impressive. For some reason, it's strangely intuitive. And Monokuma did say something about the main cast coming. It's surprising, but her, guts, her gut must be correct again this time. So, who the hell is coming? Okay, let's see. Okay, can't go over the... Wait, hold on. Can I, nope, I can't go in that room either. Okay. Can't go there. Can't go to that room or that room. Good lord. Oh my god. Oh, oh! I could finally go to the- There wasn't even anything in the music room before. In the first game. There's not- What the f*** is that? What is that? What is- This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. What the hell is this? It looks like it's some sort of monument? Why would there be a monument in a music room? And not just that, the mark engraved into the monument is a symbol of the future foundation, right? Below that symbol, there's a short message engraved. To combat the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, the graduates of Hope Academy, we are among the many who established the Future Foundation. Huh? The Future Foundation was established by the graduates of Hope Academy? Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma had completely made it up. What? Okay, I don't understand. And what is this? Words are floating in the air? This is like a hologram, right? The floating letters are forming a sentence. It looks like a passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information of a person who claims to be a survivor of Hope Seek Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people at this time. If they're survivors of the Academy, it's possible they may be targeted by ultimate despair. We believe you should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go that far without Junko rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of the killing school life. Also, if they are survivors of Hosting Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins. We haven't located them either. We will continue investigating this matter. Also, regarding a separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwock Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. Survivors of Hosting Academy? 15 students? Is that about us? Excluded Chiaki, who's part of the Future Foundation. There were definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened to outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore, maybe. I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not in remembering the memories we've lost. Oh, what is going on here? Oh my God. I guess that's all the clues in this room. It's finally confirmed the Future Foundation is on our side, at least. They were founded by the graduates of Hope Seek Academy and they took us in to protect us. But if that's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. No, as long as Monokuma was around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the Future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despair who caused the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The ones who are carrying out the will of Junko are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. What is this research facility on Jabberwock Island mentioned in the email? What's that about? The only future foundation facility we found was that ancient ruin. There's no way that's the research facility. If there really is a research facility on this island, there should be other future foundation members here. Somehow, there are still so many mysteries. I don't understand it either. I'm like, this, this was not here. Like, this was not here in the first game. So I am completely lost. 
I have no idea what is going on here. All right, so nothing else in the music department. Let's get on out of here. Okay, can't go to the bathrooms. Can't go to the data lab. Huh, can I go this? Oh, I could go in here into the office. Okay, let's see what's in there now. This feels different from a classroom. Maybe. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that stuffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. Oh. More importantly, have you seen Miss Sonia? I don't see her anywhere. How much longer is this guy going to simp over Sonia? Give it up already. God. All right. Let's look around. I know Madakuma around here somewhere. I know Madakuma. Yep, yep. There he goes. There he goes. I knew he was in here. I knew he was in here. Huh? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I got your ass. Now, let's look at this. There are letters floating in the air like the music room from earlier. Looks like a passage from the email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess I should read it. We understand it's a matter regarding the survivors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best and continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. Immediately eliminated? Does that mean this is in order to kill them? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. Well, I guess that's understandable. If the biggest, mo yeah, whatever. If that is, if that is the most tragic event, as as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much an all-out war. If the remnants of despair are the ones waging that war, there's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Hmm. Okay. So what the fuck? What is what is going on over here? There's something written on the blackboard. What's written here? Is that is that Hiyoko? Is that Hiyoko right there? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Our names, these are names I've seen before. So, the list of subjects. Look at Hyoko. Look, look, they got a whole, like, spread of her. Akane. Okay, let's look at the names. Me, Chiaki, Kazuichi, Akane, Sonya, Peko, Nagato, Gundam, the ultimate imposter who has no name. Um, Tero Tero, Nikamaru, Kuyuhiko, Mahiro, Makane, Buki. Okay, so that's all of us. And then, why is she over here to the side? There's a newspaper posted on the blackboard. Below that, Yoko Sayanji is written there. What is this newspaper? Why is she here by herself? Huh, what is this? It says Miss Hyoko Sayanji. This can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, the Hyoko we knew. She was much smaller and looked more childlike. It was pretty much her defining feature. But there, she looks grown up. In a way, I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure is too different from the Hyoko we knew. What does this mean? Is this like her sister or something? This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Sayonji here. Uh. Oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first and last name. An older sister with the same first and last name? Mm. That's the only explanation, right? I mean, look at it for yourself. That's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Yeah. Well, it's not like I was that close to her or anything. Then she doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is Sayonji's family's only daughter. Mm. If she doesn't have a sister, then a relative? No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you That's saying? Hyoko. Huh? Of course How? Not. How? What are you saying? Hyoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap for looking like that. Well. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt? What are you saying? Right, I'm confused. She's already dead. There's no way she could have had a growth spurt. What does that mean? I'm well, regardless right. of all the clues I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? This is the truth? If this is the truth, then Hyoko in the newspaper is her. Is he really saying that this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why does that even exist? I don't know what's going on. Could it be related to that list of subjects over there? Huh? If it says subjects, maybe it means there was some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Hyoko's body? Oh, what am I saying? Just saying it out loud makes it sound messed up. What experiment? If it's some kind of experiment, it would mean that there are also test subjects, right? I mean, our names are also written on the blackboard under list of subjects. But what kind of experiment What's was it? On? What's going on? It better not have anything to do with time travel. I, I, I mean, at this point, I'm thinking, yeah, they probably did experiment on her and turned her into like a child. So I don't know. I don't know anymore. I really don't. And then you, Izuru. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into the placard says, 
Izuru Kamakura, the founder of Hoseki Academy, and this name, Izuru. Doesn't this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Damn it, another mystery. So who is this? Because they said that Izuru killed the other students, so I don't know what's going on. My head hurts. My head hurts. Okay, with this, you totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congratulations, Hajime. You should now go on to the next stage. Next stage? So I guess he's saying we can go ahead and leave this area. So I, I'm i trying to figure it out, y'all. I'm confused. Damn it, not again. The hallway is different from last time. I guess with the flag that Monokuma mentioned is raised, I moved to a different hallway than the last. But how can he do that? No, now's not the time to be confused by that. Thinking about it is just going to waste my energy. So let's see. Oh, oh, what the? F it looks like this game is just breaking apart. Like it's just breaking into pieces. That's what it looks like. And I can't even go to the art section. Maybe I can go to the chemistry. Oh my God, they got flow. I don't like this. I don't like it. I don't like it. What is it? What is? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That is not how this was set. Oh wait, no, this way is to the physics lab. This way, okay. So this way brings me to the physics lab, right? Yes, and that's locked. Okay, so that I'm not tripping, I'm not tripping. Okay, so that was the rec room. But why does it have those windows like that? Why are these here? Okay, I'm just confused, but let's go in the rec room. And everything's floating. There's a billiard table, a dartboard, and a shelf lined with magazines. It's hard to think a room like this actually exists inside a school. So, what is... What? What? Can we not... Oh, so we're not gonna investigate the floating table. All right, got it. Let's look at the file. It's a file with Hosting Academy sealed on it. It says confidential, which means that it's a big secret, right? Why am I even asking a question like that? Obviously, Monokuma is responsible. Anyway, I need to confirm what's inside the file about the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Hosting Academy has conducted rigorous research into various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth the true hope that will bring hope to an entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since its foundation, so we must succeed at all costs. What followed was a series of detailed instructions and intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms that I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression on my mind for some reason. The hope cultivation plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hosting Academy was behind something like that? I don't really get it, but there's something about these words. True hope, huh? Huh. Who wrote that? I don't know, but let's look at the floating words again. This hologram again, what's this one say? It looks like another email passage. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. Though they were all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we are unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive the tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others, so we had decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter. We have no new information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. Huh, what? I am, I, I am just like trying to take in all this information and do with it what I can. It says here that they succeeded in acquiring them and have placed them in our care. That means we should have been protected by the Future Foundation, right? Then why is this happening? If the Future Foundation was protecting us, why were we forced to kill each other on this island? Well, I guess it's not possible that the Future Foundation set this all up. Huh? My, my, Hajime, if you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse. It's your fault. What is this hologram thing anyway? It's exactly what it looks like. They're the Future Foundation's emails. I thought they made the perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here and there to get them. You can even do that? Whoever's controlling you seems to possess many talents. Is it Izuru? Is it Izuru? Because they said that he, he had many talents. So, I don't know, I don't know, maybe, maybe the game's trying to trick me, I don't know. No. Well, who cares about me anyway? That's not important at all. There's no way that's not important. His true identity should connect everything to what's happening right now. Oh my god. You know what? This room is just reminding me of Sakura, and I'm getting a little sad. 
I'm getting just a tad bit sad. Okay, this is where she died at. And now we're upside down. Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. It's pretty much, you. I'm pretty much used to it by now, but even so, what is this space? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, this is totally just disconnected from reality. What the fuck? All right, so I'm upside down now. I'm high as a kite. Where is that man? Where's Weed Man? I feel like Weed Man is making me high as a kite and I don't know what to do. Now let's check on my pet. She gonna be upside down too? I have no idea. Nope, she's dead. All right. She's dead. She died from shit. All right, all right, cool. God, God, I done killed that thing twice now. <laughs> I done killed it twice, oh my God. Okay, oh, we can go to the library. Okay, this must be a library. Monokuma probably left something here too. I should hurry up and find it. Um, why do the books look like this? Why do the books look like this? Okay, what's that? This hologram again, it must be another one of the Future Foundation's emails. I should read it, there's no doubt that it's another clue. To Future Foundation 14th Division, Makoto! Makoto! Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is a serious act of treason, do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived and cooperated with recovering your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, the tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of a future filled with hope. What does this mean? This email suggests that someone was trying to let the remnants of despair escape. This email is addressed to Makoto, but he's with the Future Foundation, right? Then why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? What is going on with Makoto now? I don't know, <laughs> it's so much. What? Okay. All right, so we can't, ooh, nope. Can't go that way, can't go over there. Can't go that way, okay. So, um, are you okay, ha uh, Akane? It's close, it's very close, someone is coming. Akane is switching her nose and examining her rest surroundings. They're definitely real close, at least that's what my gut is telling me. Then answer this with your gut. Is it an enemy or an ally? Let's see, my gut is feeling. They're both. He's right, they're both. Both? What do you mean? I don't know any details, it's just my gut after all. Well, that's true, I guess. Huh. So what is it? Who is coming? Who's coming? Is it... Is it Chiaki? I mean, Chiaki's dead, but you know, like, um... I don't, know. I don't even know what to think anymore. I really don't. I really have no idea what to think. I'm going in through this upside down world. Jesus Christ. I didn't think that I would be back in here. Okay. Huh? Didn't I walk into a classroom? I don't really get it, but um, this looks like the laundry room. There's no use worrying about it, but I was in a school and now I'm suddenly in a laundry room. So, can we look at Jim? Oh, no, we can't. Oh, what is this? This looks like a tablet computer. Looks like the power is on too. Is this ne the next clue? I picked up the tablet and immediately started examining it. So, Neo World Program? Huh, this word, Neo World. It's, I seem to recall hearing it and seeing it a few times already. Huh? A Neo World Program has another name. Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The Neo World Program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the Neo World Program, individuals such as the ultimate programmer which was Cheerio, the ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist were among the many talented people whose research results were utilized. Okay, so we know one of them is definitely Cheerio, okay? I don't know the other two, so we're gonna find them out, I guess, later? I don't know. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows the subject to experience a synthetic virtual world. What? A virtual world? Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It replaced memories formed in the real world with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it is possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. 
any other use is expressly forbidden. Though it is highly effective in treating brainwashing, abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. Slowly everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world program, a feeling of emptiness like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness like the world is collapsing beneath my feet. Everything is starting to feel meaningless. So the desperate attempts, the good, sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now, it's all disappearing until all I feel is despair. Oh God, I screamed loudly as if I was confirming the sound of my own voice. There's no way I can accept this. I am starting to accept that this there's no way if something as crazy as this actually exists. Now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Made up? Including me too? So who who used this? I don't I don't know, man. I don't know. And there goes Monokuma again. Come here, little bitch. Come here. No. There we go. I found you again. Alright, so I think that's it. And this little swimsuit is reminding me of Aoi. Mm. Where are we going now? What is going on? This hallway, when we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see a resemblance, but now I'm in another crazy place. Great, great. Y'all, this is, this is messing with my brain. Oh, Y'all already done gave me a headache, okay? I don't need this. I don't need this. This is making it hard for me to look and see where I'm going, okay? This is this is making it very difficult. Hello, Sonia. Well? Are you familiar with the placebo effect and the no nocebo effect? Okay, I know what the placebo effect. That's like basically when you give something to somebody and it actually does nothing for them, but that person believes that it does something for them. So they think that it is curing them and it might cure them of whatever is happening, but it's actually nothing that was put there, so. If you understand what I'm saying. The placebo effect is when your health improves after taking a fake medicine that you believe is real. Okay, there we go, she made it more simpler. And the nocebo effect is the exact opposite, which means as long as the human brain controls all other bodily functions, if the brain believes something is real, it will become real. Why would you bring that up all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? I'm not sure, I do not fully understand. What the heck, are you glitching out, Sonya? Are you a program? What the, fu what the, what the hell is going on? What, okay, all right, all right. What are the what are the numbers and everything? It is making me like sick almost. It's making me sick. Y'all making me sick. Stop it. I'm trying to turn around and figure out where I'm going. What the hell is that? What do you want? <laughs> the moment you discover that the truth was a lie, all hope would disappear. What? Okay, so he's just messing with us. He's messing with us. What? Is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something this big would be floating like this. But what in the world is it? And the moment I looked at that object. What? What is this? <gasps> Cheerio! Cheerio, what is she doing? Welcome. Welcome to the Neo World program. A person? A floating person is talking to me. Who is it? No, this is this even a person in the first place? It's Cheerio. I'm not quite a person. It's simply an artificial intelligence program. It will make me happy if you call me Alter Ego. That is the name my master gave me when he created me. It could talk, but what are you? Alter Ego? Artifi artificial intelligence program? I am the master program behind the Neo World program. I'm responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the observer has the authority to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm sort of like an apartment manager or something. I may oversee the entire apartment building, but I like the power to manage individual rooms. But the virus has infected everything I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world I'm managing is acting very peculiar. So we're inside of it. So we, oh, so we're inside, we're inside of the Neo World program. And this is the virtual world and that is why everything is freaking glitching out the way it is. So are we really like in chaos right now and we're just like basically wearing a VR headset? And this is how we got here? I don't, what? Okay. Hold on, my brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me get my thoughts first. Damn it, it's that feeling from earlier again. This floating, floating, like my feet are hovering above the floor. It's like I can't feel my feet or the ground, like I can't even believe my own existence. 
Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? Tell me, what is the Neo World program? The Neo World program has omitted the data collection procedure from shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detailing Jabberwock Island, where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, if I am to answer your question, where is this place? The answer would be mostly Jabberwock Island. Certain portions of it are different depending on the circumstances. For example, the school you're in, it appears the space is entirely under the virus's influences. That's probably why I'm appearing before you too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I don't know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World program. Most of its words, I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge it was as true. It would make much more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel, I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality. All the mysteries, all the truths, they're all just fiction. Is that, even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? Can you tell me? What was the Neo World program used for in the first place? The Neo World program serves only one purpose. It is used to make the real world a splendid one. I guess you could say it's a program for creating hope. A program for creating hope. But the fact that we're here and the fact that we don't have our memories, that's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory is the first step toward replacing memory. Replacing memory data is one of the features of the Neo World program. With the installed memory control unit, it is possible to remove any time period you set it to. And from there, you upload memories obtained in the virtual world. So, this is probably explaining how we lost our memories in the first place. And probably in the other game too. So Monokuma was right, we did lose our school memories. But why? Why us? Why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me too. Booting the program on the survivors of Hosting Academy while it's still in an experimental stage, I'm sure there's a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening in the outside world, I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? Is that the only thing I could think of? It sounds like we're just rap lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? But they're trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? Um, I'm sorry, I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable, I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new words in my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the Observer and that virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people, along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah, they were disguised as a teacher and one of the two. Oh, there's Chiaki and Monomi. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all, but the observer in the student role was not. They weren't given any special authority at all, so they'd seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they created, there is no risk of abuse. But because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World program would have promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. What? Is that virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but that function is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as if it already knows what I'm attempting to do. Why am I thinking that Monokuma is the virus? Why am I thinking that he's actually the virus that is making this world like sick basically I don't know in the end it stole the portion of my abilities which contained my authority to build the world it was like it was a grandmaster chess player I desperately tried to fight back so it wouldn't have complete control but even so a portion of the world has been modified at its convenience she's probably talking about Monokuma Rock in the front house based on what she's saying it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack but alter ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the foundation created. I can tell that just by communicating with her, which means this supposed virus is so smart that it surpasses this alter ego? If so, does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it, what the heck? An artificial intelligence waging an attack against another one. That's so freaking irritating. But how did that virus infect the Neo World program? The Neo World program is this in isolation. It's impossible it was infected through a network. I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly bought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded it onto the main computer where the Neo World program is installed. Based on my calculations, that's what most likely happened. 
it was brought to the Future Foundation's facility, but the only person who could enter that facility is someone who's a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything is a lie? I... So, is Izuru, is that Izuru dude controlling Monokuma? Um, I'm thinking that, I don't know, I'm thinking that. It's true that the virus is powerful and that I'm completely overwhelmed by it, but I'm still able to defend the essential areas, so it has a limit too. A limit? If it took over an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Such as, in order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure. And, okay, even if you're just a god in a machine, that's enough hints from you. If you're gonna say something more, suppose that you exist between life and death, the death of yourself is inevitable. If so, it can be parallel to the deflection based on the definition of existence that constitutes a relationship. From there, the paradigm to change the results by being cut off rapidly and causes a situation where your own existence is unobservable and accelerates and crosses with the joint ownership of the world and the situation from the context invites your death, 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 death. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I think Monokuma is a virus. I think Monokuma is a virus, man. He gotta be the virus. He gotta be the virus. Oh, my God. Oh, ooh. This is, this is hurting my head. I'm getting a headache. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Makoto? What the heck? What just happened? You're right. You're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the other earlier one? Maybe he can't hear my voice from the side. I'm currently talking to the world through alter ego. Ever since you guys vanished into that space, the video's feedback has been pretty distorted. But even so, we are forced to watch you this entire time. Huh? The things you guys are forced to do, we are forced to watch it. Forced to watch us? I really wanted to save you right away, but because of the virus's interference, I couldn't. Our orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference, but also ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. If this means that's working, then it means that the person I need to talk to is right there, I hope. It looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just who is this guy anyway? Makoto coming to save us! Yes! The ultimate hope! <laughs> is he really our ally? Since there's no time, I'm gonna say what I need to say and believe you're there listening to me. But first, I should apologize to everyone. I know apologizing won't help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program, but that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it was too late. But it's still not just a virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place, but to tell you the truth, I was unsure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us? What did he want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password to enter the graduation exam ground, right? Yes, I did. I think. Which was Leon. Spelled upside down and backwards. Yep, okay. Leon. Got it. That's the number we found at Nezumi Castle. The door to the ancient room was supposed to open after you all finished gathering the hope fragments. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge your graduation exam. However, I prepared that password just in case something went wrong. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left that 1137 password in a place where the teacher role would not be able to go. I never thought Nagato, who saw it first, would erase that password. I knew his bitch ass did. I knew it. Anyway, I'm also the person who set the password to that number. That number contains a secret. Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. Oh, he's talking about, um, he's talking about the girl that died first. Say Sayuka, Say, Say, it's a lot, it's a lot, okay. Say, Sa Sakuya, Saikuya, Sayoko, whatever her name was, okay. And I know who it was, it was the idol, okay. I forgot her name. She wasn't there with us long, okay? I'm, I'm, excuse me. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I've entrusted it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they are going to crush you with despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up on hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In a worst case scenario where an observer who has the role of a teacher goes rogue, I prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. 
It's the fourth shutdown sequence. Fourth shutdown sequence. Even a teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this that you guys can choose on your own, independently of the observer. Which means even if they stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the fourth shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, oh lord. We're not gonna get answers. Oh god. Oh god, they got to him. They got to him. The virus got to him. And here you go. Here you go. What was that just now? Hey, Hajime, what was that weirdness just now? Nothing really, I see. Oh well, anyway, that's all the hints you're gonna get. If that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useless stuff, I'm gonna butt in again. Did Monokuma not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but it was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. I see, it'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I just had with that guy just now. I, you guys have a weapon, a very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best, huh? But what do we have to do our best? The mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. But what are we supposed to do when that truth is really a lie? We know we're working towards a conclusion that nobody wants to hear, but still, do we really need to work hard and do our best? Is there really a reason to do our best? Is everything is a lie, then isn't everything just meaningless? It's the same for the killings too. Even though we had to experience something as painful as that, something as tragic as that, wouldn't all that be meaningless too? When, when the world has flipped over and become so irrational, what am I supposed to do? Hmm, so we gotta use, wow, they're really making us use Leon's password to save us. That's crazy. Wow. I think that that is all in this room that we could look at. So let's leave. Huh. Oh. What's going to happen now? Huh. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. Shall we just plunge right in? Plunge into it's what? time for the long-awaited graduation exam. Uh-oh. Please enter the red door located on the first floor of Hope Speak Academy. Uh-oh. <laughs> See you soon. We're gonna unravel everything that's going on. We're gonna shut this shit down. A red door, huh? It's just a waste of time thinking about what this all means right now. For now, I need to finish this. I need to f just focus on that. All right. Oh, God. I hate when they do this. Okay, there we go. There we go. At least it's not. Okay, are you dead again? Or are you hatching? Are you hatching? Okay, there we go. There we go. She was just hatching. There we go. All right. He means this red door, right? Do I just have to go in here? If I do that, will this be finished? Only one way to find out. Oh my God. What are we in? Look at all the zeros, look at all the binary numbers. Like what the hell? Is this ever gonna end? Am I going to get to the end of this hallway? Oh, I guess I am. Okay, I just need to keep pushing forward, Jasmine. Just keep moving forward. Huh, this place. Yo. Looks like everyone's here. Right. It seems that this is going to be the final place. However, However this place is, um, we've been here before, right? Yeah, this should be the place that the door at the ancient ruin leads to. Hey. Huh, it seems pretty strange that we've been in that other building up until now. Damn it. It's like we're dreaming or something. If this is a dream, then this too is very. So you finally arrived. Congratulations, you guys are the first ones to ever beat this game. <laughs> After stopping by Hosting Academy, you finally come back to this place. Yeah. To the graduation exam site within the ancient ruins of Jabberwock Island. You can give it a fancy name like graduation exam site, but it's no different than the trial ground from before. <laughs> from before. <laughs> this trial field actually inspired the one from before. So in a way, this place is the original. Hey. Who cares? This graduation exam means we can finally go home, right? Of course, of course if that's what you guys decide. Huh? And if we have to decide, what do we have to do? Now then. Please take a look at the LCD touch panel built into your seats. Compared to the other trials, the rules are much simpler this time. Yes, indeed. There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. If you don't press either of them, it will be treated as an absence and will not be counted. Which means everyone who has died up till now will have their votes treated as absences. Then, then the result is based on our majority vote. Hmm. Ahem, a graduate is chosen by a majority vote. From there, an event that's kinda like a graduation ceremony called the graduation program will begin. <laughs> Even if we do this stupid majority vote, the, risk, the result is already pretty damn obvious. Come on, let's move this along. We can press it now, right? No, no, no. 
you can't do that yet. I mean, your resolve hasn't firmed yet, right? Your will to be swept away by society's harsh current. Shut up. Shut Shut up. up. Who the hell cares? I'm gonna press it. My mind, which of your orifices are you using to spew bile? To participate in the graduation program, you need my final say as your teacher, you know. What? Does that mean it won't end with a just a majority vote? That's right. After the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it. Well, um, I'm terribly sorry for being rude earlier, no but you don't have to worry. There's no way I won't acknowledge your graduations. This is merely a formality. I'm just doing it because it's how it has to be. He's doing it because it's how it has to be. It doesn't mean that he can exert his will over everything. He too has a limit. Is this what Alter Ego was talking about? Anyway. anyway, if you don't want to do it, you guys still need to do it to solve the mystery. Afterward, you cast your majority votes, and from there, we move on to the graduation program. <laughs> but why do we even have to go through something so dumb? Hmm. Well, that is, you said you were waiting for the main cast, right? Hmm? hmm? Which means you're just stalling for time then. <laughs> Who's the main cast? Mm. Oh, no need to worry about it. It has nothing to do with you guys. There's no way it has nothing to do with us. We're the only ones who are involved, you know? So it doesn't annoying. matter if you're involved or not. You're just a bunch of chumps in a big picture. That's why it has nothing to do with you. Just perform your roles without complaining. Piss Hold on, off. what's with that chump comment? Can't ignore that. Exactly, he gonna, he gonna catch something from a comic. <laughs> Uh, not that it's important for anything, but make sure you turn off that toy. How dare you treat him like a toy? What's this? I did treat him like a toy. You got a problem with that? Oh, I created everything. <laughs> You're actually picking a fight with me? I'm basically a god. Just how promising can you guys be? I guess this is just the nature of life. Find them before you die. Sear my power into your memories. What? What is going on, y'all? All right. Class trial, all rise. I did say I don't I know what we're doing, but you know. World, but this is still a questionable starting topic. Okay. Let me ask you this: What is this world's true identity? It's fake. Huh? This world's true identity? What kind of question is that? It's a fake world. This world's true identity. If I answer this, it will be true, and that lie will become the truth. There's no way I can leave it unanswered. Oh, oh, oh! We already. Oh, we already doing a hangman. Okay, all right, all right. So, oh, it's a virtual? Bam, there we go, virtual. We got it, we got it, bam. I need a, I need an eye, I need that eye. I need an eye, give me the eye. Give me the eye, there we go. Bam, burr, I need a T, bam. There we go, oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, Oh, I missed that one thing. I missed that one thing. Oh my God, okay, okay, bam, bam, bam. Oh my God, I needed the U, I needed the U, I needed the U. Bam, virtue A. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, they go so freaking fast. It's, it's like if you miss it, okay, 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 okay. I, A, A, ah, 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 there we go. And I'm about to take my whole health down just because Y'all doing it fast, okay? I missed one letter. I missed one letter accidentally. This world, this Jabberwock Island we're on. Virtual. It's a virtual world uh -huh. that was inspired by the actual Jabberwock Island. Uh-huh. Okay. So. So he's not gonna let me say it? Okay. World, but if you want, you can call it the game world. Pretty you much. get it? It's all just one big game. Okay. Uh, are you friggin' serious? Yeah. Don't fucking mess with me, you bastard. <laughs> Did you have us all come here just to tell us bullshit? Um, this is a game. No. Are my words being displayed in a text window right now? Yes, this whole that's time. Stupid. There's no way that's even possible. I know, mm. I know. The all in your mind trope makes you feel such cruel despair. <laughs> but who cares? I revived all the suspense and mystery with just one line. Oh but my goodness. It's a game. Then we were forced to kill each other. Uh huh. But it's a game. It's a game. Crazy shit happened. Because it's a game. A game. Oh my god. I'm the only people here. Because it's, it's a game. game. Monokuma's nonsensical ability. Because it's a game. It's a game. Good lord, okay. Fuck with me. That's not even possible. I know. Oh my you lord. Pissed, but you were having fun too, right? A world where anything goes only exists in games. So hmm. just force yourself to accept it. This closed space, this game world, was the true stage of this killing school trip. And that's crazy to me. Just stop. There's no way. 
There's no way I'm gonna believe that. You have to, baby. Day, people must have reacted the same way when they first saw the airplane take flight. Mm. But like wearing contact lenses, it'll stop feeling strange once you just get used to it. Please do not compare reality to contact lenses. <laughs> if this really is a virtual world, what does that make us? You better not um, say we're, we're not characters. In my world, you are. So hey. The Future Foundation created this world using a program called the Neo World Program. Okay. And Cheerio was a part of making that. Place the user in a virtual world by synchronizing directly with the user's brain. And you see everybody in the tanks, but it, I wonder like if they die in this, do they die like in the real world? I don't Which understand. Means your body still exists in the real world. So, I, so right hold now, on. You're completely submerged in the game world as if you're dreaming or something. But if you die, like, does your body go away? You're, um, you know, not aviators, but... Pioneers? Avatar. Oh, okay. <laughs> the existence created in the game is a copy of the user's real body. But hmm. we're not just regular avatars, right? Your avatars were constructed by removing a specific thing your from memories. your bodies in the real world. Memories. What did you remove? Uh-huh. The specific thing that was removed from our bodies is definitely talking about that, right? Which was our school memories. Right? Let's see. There we go. What was removed from us was our school memories, right? <laughs> we're avatars that were created from our memories from before we entered the academy? So that's why we don't mm. have our memories of our lives at Hope's Peak Academy? Yes. Don't talk like that. Unfortunately, it's true. Memories of the past. Like we're avatars. Mm -hmm. Like this is a game world. It but is. We end up talking about sci-fi crap. I'll never believe it. How many uh. times do I have to tell you? It's not sci-fi. It's a game. This world is a virtual reality created by a computer program. We can't proceed if we don't accept it. Is believing him really the only thing we can do? I, I mean, we have to. What are we arguing here? What are we? Oh, oh. I guess. I guess we're arguing against Akane. I don't. I don't I don't know what we're arguing here. Huh. Is there any evidence that this is really a game world? Um. You are the evidence. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's what see. Does that mean? Your avatars made of memories from before you entered the school. But right. your actual bodies in the real world are different. Though you have no memories of your time living your school life, your mm -hmm. real bodies actually live that life. What game world? What? What avatar? I mean... I'm a human being with a real body! We know that. We know. We know. This is a virtual world where avatars that were created for this world. I don't want to believe something like that, but... I kind of have to, evidence? so... Okay, let's try it again. You are the, what does that let's see, let's get avatar, that out of the way. Actual, you have no All right, no there we go. Bam. And then let's hit that. There we go. That must be it. A strange huh. newspaper clipping. Maybe that's why Kyoko was bigger, because that's her actual body. There's a picture of Kyoko. Hmm. She looked more like an adult than the Kyoko we knew. Right. Like an adult? What does that mean? Hmm. Since we're avatars right now, we look exactly as we did before we entered the school. And but that's how we looked world, in the we've real world. Lived out our school lives, hmm. which means we've grown that much older. And among us, some age so much we didn't recognize them. Oh you wow! You're saying that happened to Hyoko? It appears I wonder what we Hyoko all look like for real. Spurt during the school year. Mm -hmm. Looks like the other shorty graduated for you, Hiko. Oh, I can't Ooh. believe that. You're just making shit up. <laughs> but if you guys only had memory loss, your body still should have grown during that time, right? Correct. So you should have felt huh. your bodies go through growth spurts. But why didn't you guys recognize each other? Because we did not know we didn't each other know. before we lost our memories. Right. We all met after we lost our school memories. It's no different than meeting each other for the first time. Since we didn't Correct. know each other before that, we wouldn't have noticed how much we've all grown. Hmm. No, hold on. If we didn't know each other before and we wouldn't have known if we aged or not by looking at each other, then wouldn't he have noticed the difference? Ooh. 
Monokuma? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. So, who? Not. Oh, maybe him because he knew Pekko. You're the only one. Maybe him because he knew Pekko coming in here. Hey, Fuyuhiko, you knew Pekko for a long time. Yes. Right? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Now that you mention it, seems weird. Oh. Huh. Now that I think about it, it's definitely strange. Oh, now you notice it now that we at the end. Okay. Our school memories. Hmm. About how many days worth were taken away. As the creators of the hmm. Neo World program, only the future foundation would know the details, but around two or three years worth, I assume. Excuse me? That long? Excuse me. Pekka wow. And I have seen each other almost every single day of our lives. If hmm. we lost two years worth of memories, we would have noticed that we were older than we remembered. Right. So, does that mean our memory loss is another one of Monokuma's lies? Or did he your take certain things from your people? Your mutual memory loss is why you can't notice all the important parts. Mm. You've lost your memories. End of story. You guys are avatars who had their memories taken from them. Huh. This is a virtual world. We're virtual avatars. Yes. Are you saying we just have to accept that? I mean, I apparently. I can feel my heartbeat. And I know what I smell like. So what do you call these things I'm feeling? Are you saying these are all lies? Just I feel like because hmm. it's a game doesn't mean everything was a lie. Have you heard that when you're hypnotized to believe you've been burned, a burn mark will really appear? Really? So if our brains believe something is real, oh, it's no different than if it actually happened. That's like the placebo that effect. It, I uh -huh. did hear about a phenomenon quite similar to that. The placebo In effect. In a distant country. There was a certain experiment carried out on one of their prisoners. The prisoner mm -hmm. was blindfolded, strapped to a bed, and had small wounds applied to his toes to drain his blood. That oh. prisoner was left alone in the experiment room, as the sound of dripping blood echoed throughout the room. Oh my god! But in fact, his blood was not being drained. He was mm -hmm. just forced to listen to the sound of dripping water, but he believed he was bleeding to death. What? However, in spite of that, the prisoner still died. Is that for real? As expected, is that for Yesenia, real? That is very scary. Sanctioned torture is amazing. Mind over matter is a powerful thing if that if is true. A lie is a believable lie. Hmm. You're saying it might become the truth? Wow. We're really just connected to machines and stuff. Mm. And our consciousness was uploaded into here. So we mm -hmm. genuinely believe that this game world was real. I mean, all of us are placed at the same time, too. The Jabberwock Island we've been living on. Of course, that's also a virtual world. This whole thing is virtual. That's why everything was glitching out before. Sheesh. So that's why there are no people. That's why everything that seems seas, so stocked up. The building's everything. It's all it's a virtual fake. world created by the Neo World program. Mm. It's just like this space we're in right now. What we see before us is a virtual environment created by the program. It right. looks real because our brains think it's real. Hmm. That's why in the end... In the end what? Oh? Oh? They're gonna show us... It was all just a creation. That's the truth. Oh, now everything turns to numbers now. Now that we all accept... Oh, that's kind of cool. Now that we all accepted that we're in a virtual world, it turned all to numbers. The truth is, the truth is it was all a lie. That is this world's truth. If everything's a lie, hmm. then what should we believe? Who cares if it's I don't a lie? know. Hey, what are you getting at? I mean, if this is really a game world, mm -hmm. everything that happened here took place inside the game, right? Uh, yes. Then that must mean... Does that mean that they're not really dead? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, if they die in here, do they die in real life, or do they not? That's right. The killings we were forced to commit were part of some silly game. Hmm. Everyone who was killed should still be alive in the real world. That's what yeah. I'm trying to figure out. Just because they died in the virtual world doesn't mean they died in real life. Huh. So, you are saying everyone is still alive? We only have to That's see it. it to believe it. Isn't that right, Monokuma? <laughs> Watch they What's still so be funny? dead. If a lie is a believable lie, it oh, might no! the truth. Oh no! So they're really dead! Oh, they're really dead! Don't tell me. 
You mean they're really the dead? The world program isn't just oh wow a game. It's next gen software containing the ultimate reality. And oh my speaking god! Of that reality, if a player's avatar experiences death, they will believe their that they're dead. Inside their actual bodies will stop functioning too. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Everyone who died is gone for real. It's not like their bodies are completely dead. So I can't say it's a true death. What are they, brain dead? That's why it's actually crueler instead. All that's left of them are empty husks. Oh are my god. Saying? They will never awaken again? What the mm. fuck? What the fuck? I know, well, I know. Nobody's Pinky gonna Pinky. appreciate a game where you don't die when you're supposed to, right? What game? What? That's not what we risked our lives for. Right. If you want to be mad, please be mad at the Future Foundation. They're forcing you to play this game. Mm. Future Foundation? The people from the Future Foundation made us play this no. game? Then no. Monomi and Shiaki were... They were good. They the Future Foundation to protect us. And then... We were taken out. I see. Mm. So our real enemy is the Future Foundation. No. The Future Foundation is our real enemy? No, that's not it. Is, is that it? Is it really it? It's not. Because there's a virus. Oh, look! They made it! Digital! Hey! Hey! Alright, 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 alright. Let's go. Let's get out. <laughs> Okay, hold on. The Neo World program was developed by the Future Foundation, right? Uh huh. The ones who trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing, right? Mm -mm. The enemy is the Future Foundation. No, it's not. I mean, it's not. A group that would make a killing game. They didn't make that. There's no way they're good guys. The virus did. Then the Future Foundation is. Mm -hmm. Truly an organization of evil. No. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Who's our enemy? Is it the Future Foundation? The um, Neo World program was developed by mm -mm. the Future Foundation, right? Yes. The trapped us in here. It's all the Future Foundation's doing. And the enemy's okay. Like, I mean, I'll I think that, that that's wrong. Yes, no, there we go. Wrong. There we go. That is wrong. They were trying to protect us. Originally, in the world created by the Neo World program, mm -hmm. the concept like violence never existed. Exactly. But then, why is there killing going on? This virus? The virus that invaded this program is forcing us to kill each other. C mm -hmm. Could it be that virus is? Monokuma. You're right. Right. When Monokuma appeared, this island was giving off a really peaceful vibe. Exactly. It was until his yeah. bitch ass came. It didn't get weird until Usami was remodeled as Monami. They just had to show Makan's cakes again. They just had to do it one more time. <laughs> Monami, what sort of role did such a lost girl like her have in this world? She hey, was a. Don't change the subject. <laughs> but that's also something we need to clear up. Monami or Usami's role was the. Well, no, she was she was an observer. Yeah, there we go. She was the observer of the Neo World. But she program. played as a teacher. That right? That's right. She was an NPC that was assigned the role of observer. Mm -hmm. NPC. What's that? Non-playable character. Non-player character. A character that's not controlled by a person. Mm -hmm. It's different from avatars like us. Monami's existence was created entirely by the program. Just to monitor the 15 of you. They're gonna be like 15. Oh, wait, did you just say 15 people? Chiaki was one of them. Not count. We're 16 people in total. He mm -mm. was probably excluding the other observer, which huh? was Chiaki. Another observer? Yes. The Future Foundation's other observer is Chiaki. I see. There we go. Keep up, Aside people. Aside from the 15 <laughs> participants, there were two observers in the Neo World program. One mm -hmm. of them was Monami. And the other one was my Could baby. Have been Chiaki? Yes. Oh, you're right. You're saying Chiaki was an NPC? Unfortunately. Oh, you're saying she was just a program? Hmm. And she didn't actually exist in real life? Of course, because who could be that perfect? You know? She's 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 awesome. So that's why she had to be an NPC. Then she wasn't human? Nope. She didn't exist at all? Not no, human? That's not it. 
Chiaki was really alive. Even if she was a virtual existence, she was really alive. Did you forget? She saved our lives, you know? Don't get all mushy towards a game character. Hey, I've been doing that this whole game. Plus, she wasn't just a little game character. She was a lackey for the detestable world ender. World ender? Now that you mention it. You hmm. referred to the future foundation by that name before. That just means it was all a bluff, right? So we think that the future foundation was yep. our enemy. A lie. A joke about the world ending. No, I think the world did no end. doubt that the future foundation is also world ender. Huh? At least for those of us here. Oh, for everyone who's what here. Mean, those of us here. So. Why are you lumping us with you? Right. It's just a bluff. Monokuma. Hmm. What exactly are you? A virus. Why don't you just show us your true self already? I think it's Izuru. What, you can't talk? Huh. It is cowardly of you to just ignore us. Speak Before up, bear. I reveal my true identity to you guys. Oh? It appears the main cast has finally arrived. Who? Huh? The main cast? Speaking of which, this guy oh. is a member of World Ender. So, look, now he's glitching out. World Ender? Oh, is that Makoto's voice? Was that Makoto? Makoto! Hey! It's not the future foundation's fault. Uh-huh! The fault lies. You better speak you up! Guys. You better speak up! Alright! I was waiting for you, Makoto! Uh-huh! You finally arrived! Makoto? Yep. That is the ultimate hope right there. My name is Makoto Naegi. Mm -hmm. Like you. Say it. I'm also a former student of Hope's Peak Academy. And uh -huh. right now, I'm a member of the Future Foundation. Yes. Oh, from the Future Foundation? Why did uh -huh. someone like you suddenly show up? I got it. You came to save us, right? Mm -hmm. Then hurry up and save us. Oh. Hey, what happened? Oh, uh, what is this? Isn't he acting a bit strange? This guy's attitude is as if... He's being cautious of us? Of course. I don't mind rescuing you guys. Mm. But before that, you all need to fully accept the situation you're in. He's like, yes, you're in a fake world. The situation we're in. Why do you think the Future Foundation decided to put you guys into the Neo World program? Who cares? To save Hurry them from the outside world? The Neo World program has another name. Mm. The Hope Restoration Program. The Hope Restoration By Program? Now, you should understand your true identity. Mm -hmm. Our true identities. Aren't we the 15 survivors of yes. the Peak Academy? Before you arrived here, Monokuma should have shown you guys some clues. Put them oh? all together and try thinking about it. Oh, God. Put it together and think. I just got to do it myself, huh? Oh, we doing a lot to try. Hey, I like doing these. I don't mind. I don't mind doing these. I don't mind doing these. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go forward, break, jump. Okay, good. Always got to make sure that I know my my controls before I do anything. So let's go. Bam. There we go. All right. Cool. All right. We're living. We're living. We're living. Got it. Hey. 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 <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I'm so glad Makoto's here. Who were the 15 survivors of Hosting Academy? Um... Hajime and the others, right? There we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. I know it wasn't tripping. They, they kind of threw me off with Makoto right there. But thank you. All right. There we go. Let's get to the side. Oh, no! Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. I was about to die. I was about to die. Okay, let's get around that. There we go. Ooh, okay. All right, and jump. There we go. All right, we're good. Question two. Who are the remnants of despair? The remnants of despair. Would it be Makoto? Because it's remnants, so it can't be just Monokuma, right? Oh, shit. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so the remnants of despair are Hajime and the others? Maybe? We are the remnants of despair? Okay. I am highly confused. I'm highly confused. How are we the remnants of despair? Huh. I'm really trying to figure it out, y'all. I'm trying to figure out what is going on. Okay. Huh. 
We're the remnants of the spit. Okay, okay. Where's the next question? Why were Hajime and the others put into the Neo World program? No, to re to recover them from despair. Right? Because Monokuma's a virus. So, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, we got our answer. Huh. Okay, so we are also the remnants of despair as well. Huh. Okay. <laughs> the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy and the remnants of ultimate despair are... Yes, are both. both of those phrases refer to you guys. Huh. That's right. Not only are you guys the survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, you're also survivors of ultimate despair. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ultimate despair? Don't mm. be stupid. In That's game, crazy. We took in 15 of you as survivors of Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. But upon further investigation, we discovered an unbelievable truth. The 15 people we acquired were actually the horrifying remnants of despair. Huh. That was us? How? Ultimate despair. I remember hearing that they're dangerous guys who are responsible for terrorism, coup mm -hmm. and wars. Oh my god. Oh yes. my god. They're responsible for the tragedy and brought chaos into the world. So we did despair that? In human form. Oh my god. They're utterly devoid of humanity. That's what you guys really are. Are you serious? The ultimate despair oh. don't care about principles or morals. Mm. They just spread despair everywhere they go. And we do that? They live solely to torment everything. Look, to they got news stations. To kill everything. Oh my god. We're part of a dangerous group like that? Apparently. That's gotta be a lie. Try it. There's no way. There's no way we're all ultimate despair. Nagito huh. probably did what he did because he managed to learn the unbelievable truth. That we're ultimate Nagito. despair. Why are you bringing him up all of a sudden? He's hmm. the only one who knew this truth before you guys. It was oh. a special prize for clearing the final dead room. Was it in the book? That contain all our student profiles? But inside... Right. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Details about our missing memories. Hmm. No. It used to have profiles from after you entered the school. But Nagito destroyed them before you saw it. Damn it! All right, huh? Why? Why do you know something like that? Right. Anyway, it's the absolute truth that the file had profiles about you guys after you entered the school. And huh. after Nagito obtained the file and learned the truth, what did he try to do to you guys? Try to make us kill each other. So Nagito learned the truth. What did he try to do to us? Are you telling us to answer that? Try to kill us? Maybe? Oh, now we gotta do Hangman again. God damn it. All right. Kill us all? <laughs> Is it kill us all? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Kill. I need an eye. I need an eye. There we go. K-I. Oh, Jesus. K-I. Where's the L? There we go. L. L. Us. I need an A. Bam. I need a U. Oh, I need a, I need a U. Okay, U, U, F. There we go. I need a, oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay. Ah, give me the S. Us. I need the A. I need the A. Get that gone. Get that gone. A, bam. Get that. Bam. Bam. Kill us all. Kill us all. He was trying to kill us. Sheesh. Oh, because we were remnants of despair and he was fighting for hope. So maybe that's why. Kill everyone except for the traitor. That's huh. why. After seeing the file, he learned that everyone, including him, hmm. was ultimate despair. And he tried to kill everyone except the traitor. Did Nagito try to kill us? Yes. Because we were ultimate despair? Because he was fighting yes. for hope. Because of his love for hope and his exactly. hatred for despair. Okay, I get it. I sort of understand that. This is the ultimate help, Makoto. Why do we have to be treated like the bad guys? There must be some kind of mistake. Hmm. There's no way we're ultimate despair. I don't need a twist like that. It might seem right. unbelievable because you guys only have memories from before you entered the school. But it all happened at Hope's Peak Academy. Oh. You were tainted by ultimate despair because at Hope's Peak Academy, 
you were in contact with her. Junko. Her? The true ultimate. Junko. Junko and Oshima. Or Junko, whatever, she man. Strongly influenced whatever. You all during your time at the school. And that's why you became Ultimate Despair. In order mm. to remove that influence, you've been placed into the Hope Restoration Program. And try to turn us back into good? You took away our school memories? The wow. The reason you're able to act like your normal selves is because you're within the Neo World Program. This is all mind-blowing. But your true bodies in the real world are different. In the real mm. world, you're part of a group that cruelly destroyed your family, friends, and even your own body. Oh. Family, friends, and our own bodies. Aren't you exaggerating a bit? I don't think he is. There's no way we do something like that. Don't turn away from the truth. He said, don't you talk back to me. <laughs> oh, God. Why? Why am I seeing that? What was that just now? A memory? But that person was Nagato, right? What the fuck? Why am I, why am I seeing that again? It appears you've remembered a little. Huh. Now, face what you've done. And from there... You will finally take your first steps on the path to hope. Okay. So what am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with, with Nagato having Junko's hand? That's what it looks like. Huh, maybe I should look at the vision of Nagato. There's obviously some kind of mistake. Hmm. There's no way we're ultimate despair. Because you are all ultimate despair. Mm -hmm. You killed your friends and family. My goodness! And you even destroyed your own bodies. Huh? How could you say we did all that? We're being tricked. Ah, uh, no. We're being tricked by the Future Foundation. No. That's no. not it. How much despair is within you guys? Huh? We're ultimate despair? That's not possible. I need to organize the information. If I organize it, I'll be able to. So maybe There's it's obviously some kind of mistake. Maybe it's There's not no that. We're all because you're all you killed you and you even destroyed your own bodies. Let me see that. There we go. There we go. Got it. They look so similar. They look so cute. <laughs> that memory I felt was actually a memory from the real world. What Nagito did was. Hmm. Off his own arm and transplanted, transplanted a woman's arm. Wow, not just any woman's arm, it was the late Junko and Oshima's arm. I knew that was her nails. I knew that was her nails. That by becoming one with Junko and Oshima, he could make her survive within it. Huh? I don't get this at all. That's a crazy the mindset. Despairs defy understand. That is a crazy they mindset. No problem severing their own limbs. Wow, I am terribly sorry. I do not feel <laughs> so well. She wants to throw up. Use the bathroom? It's just a game anyway. So uh. why don't you just let it out? I'm pretty sure a select few would demand that. It's too uh. soon to feel sick. That's not even the worst thing the ultimate despair should Jesus. Oh! Some wasted away to skin and bones through continuous fasting. In order oh my to reach God. the despair of starvation. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Others gave their own families to Junko just to perform killing experiments on them. Oh my god! And not just that. After Junko's death, they slaughtered countless people by forcing them to commit suicide. Wow! One person even implanted one of Junko's eyes into their own socket. Perhaps they wanted to see her despair? Oh my hell! And not just that. Some even tried to have children with Junko's dead body. Okay, that's disgusting. Just stop! That's disgusting. Hey, that's just a bullshit story. That's obviously bullshit! So oh my god. You toward yourselves in the real world. I understand that feeling, but there's no need to worry. You just advance toward the hope I provide? Oh you my god. And be safe. This is hey, just turning dark. You'll save us? Of course. That's my purpose, after all. Hmm. That's why the Neo World program was created too. You put us inside this program so that you can save us? Yes. Your cohabitation inside the Neo World program was just a simulation. Hmm. If you remove the memories of your time at Hope Speak Academy, would it also remove your ultimate despair? Maybe. Because so we didn't want to kill each like other. Test? I guess I can say that the test was a success. Even mm. though it deviated greatly from the original plan of graduating after gathering the hope fragments, nevertheless, mm -hmm. 
You guys were able to overcome your unexpected trials and make your way here. That's why huh. all you need to do is choose graduate. Okay. We could get out of here. However, if you graduate from here, your school memories will never return. Hey, hey, that's fine because it sounds all bad to me. So cool. if you choose to graduate and hmm. the observer determines that there are no problems, you will complete hmm. the hope restoration program. And your avatar will be uploaded into your real body. So everything that we experience will be there. It means by uploading our avatar's memories into our bodies, we're also forcibly erasing our past selves. That's why it's called the Hope Restoration Program. So that is the Neo World hey, Program. What huh. happens to the people whose avatars die? If an avatar oh. that needs to be uploaded has been deleted, there's nothing we can do. Mm. So you're saying they'll never wake up? Oh, so Pecco and Damn everybody it. is gone. Damn fucking shit! Mm. Um, please take a look at this flip book for a quick rundown of your options. Are we really doing this, Matakuma? What the f what? If you choose graduate, it'll transfer your in-game memories, but your mm -hmm. school memories will be gone forever. Unfortunately, mm. the people who have already died will not be able to wake up. Wow. Just a thought. What will happen if we do not choose to graduate? You'll just have to continue living continue the Continue living? Life. Right. Why you gotta ask something like that? Well, even if we wake up in the real world, mm -hmm. we are all rather messed up, right? If that is I think case, we're gonna be messed up in both ways. maybe staying on this island is... No! What are you saying? No, 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 we're not. Working this hard no, we're not. Escape from here? You right. don't have to force yourself to return to a painful reality. Let's just play this game forever and no. ever. No, no, ridiculous. No, thank you. If I stay in this screwed up world any longer, I'm seriously gonna snap. But still, right. is it really okay to sacrifice the others just to save ourselves? I mean, they're not gonna come back. If we don't get out of here now, then what was everything we've done up till now even for? For nothing? You're right. We've been trying desperately to survive until we can finally leave this place. If we don't get out of here now, all the deaths we've endured will be in vain. I know this, but we gotta get out. Something's not right. How come Monokuma isn't trying to stop us? Is he going to stay quiet and overlook us getting out of this game world? Then everything Monokuma did would be pointless too. Not only that, is it really okay for us to believe him? Should we get out or? I don't know. Huh. Okay, is that the right one? <laughs> Wait, can we have some time to decide? Did you huh. get scared like Sonia? No. no. It's not that. Don't you think this is a little strange? Right. Strange. You still don't understand? I feel like I do, but Normally, I don't. Ultimate despairs like you guys would just be abandoned. But I'm telling you, I'm here to help. You should be thankful for how open-minded the Future Foundation is. Oh. Uh, Makoto. Oh. What has happened to you? Just listen to the Future Foundation. Hmm. Future Foundation is the world's hope, you know? I knew it. Huh. I thought. There's something wrong with you. Oh? What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? I'm trying to figure it out. Maybe... Oh, the email. The email. Definitely. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. I said I'm going to save you guys. Hmm. Why aren't you listening to me? Let's see. Well, let's do what he says and get out of here. He's like, let's just get this over I with. Mean, the Future Foundation's the good guys, right? Hmm. And apparently we are actually the bad guys. Hmm. It's fine to trust him, right? The Future Foundation is the world's hope. Uh-huh. No one can defy the Future Foundation. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. There we no, go. That's wrong. Hold on, because it says that you're like doing something you're not supposed to. Hold on. Did you say it's foolish to defy the future foundation? Uh-huh. You explain your actions. Right. My actions? I saw it. The email that the, the email. future foundation sent to you. Mm-hmm. The future foundation 14 division Makoto. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What you're doing is the act of treason. Why are you protecting them? Mm-hmm. In that email, Makoto Naegi defied the mm -hmm. Future Foundation to protect the remnants of despair. Which right. Which really contradicts what this person is saying. Huh. Oh. Is that email for real? Yes. It was floating in midair. Kill us? Hold on. We'll deal with that later. Hey, Monica. Why later? Those clues we found were all real, right? Yes. Oh. 
And that's not the only contradiction. What this Makoto person is saying also contradicts what we've already been told. Essentially, I cannot guarantee that there are no issues with this program. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure whether or not to run the program on you guys. This is the only way to save you. I wanted to protect you. Huh. To me, those words seem much more real. If so, the person in front of us is a fake? Oh! So this is a fake? Simply put, he's Makoto Naegi, who's known for being a cutie patootie! I'm asking you! You insolent fool! Oh? If you're saying he's not Makoto, then show me some proof! Uh-oh. Damn it, he's trying to interfere, then. To prove whether that Makoto Naegi is real or not, I'm gonna shove that in his face. Shove what? Oh lord, oh lord. Okay, well, let's go ahead and- I can't hear you. Woo, they make this really, really. Time. Hold on, hold on, what? bam. What do you want? Oh, I can't shoot at it? Hold on. Is waiting for you. How come I can't shoot at it? You're getting huh. wild up. Let's see. Bam. Bam. Ah. 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 There we go. There we go. Bam. Ah. I am always trying to make sure I don't miss in this thing. Oh my god. Let's get it. Bam. 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 Let's reload. 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 Bam. 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 Okay. Ah. 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 Oh. Oh. Ah. 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 What are you even talking about? Maybe. Ah, okay, 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 ah, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go, bam, got it, ah, hit those, hit it, hold on, we almost got it, hold on, there we go, okay, oh, one, one, shit, shit, one, zero, three, shit, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, got it, I understand, I understand. I got it. I got it. I understand what the I understand what they wanted me to say. I understand what they wanted me to say. There we go. Okay. Okay, now I got it. Okay. One, one. There. There we go. Leon. Leon. Now we got it. Okay. Makoto Nayegi. That's who you really are. What is the password? Why did you make the password to Nezumi Castle? Uh, oh, one, one, zero, three, seven. he should have asked them what the password was. What was that again? Oh, Can't answer? Huh. Oh, that's weird. Wait, you, where'd you find that out? Because the real one told me. So how about it? Can you even answer? The real one told me. Oh man. Oh, I found out. So who is this? Then you're. <laughs> oh, how disappointing. And I thought I was on the right track. Huh. So who are you really? He disappeared? Oh. Hey, that guy disappeared. Why are you surprised? So who was, okay. It's a computer program. So anything's possible. But right? who really was that? That was just the work of Monokuma? Oh, huh. you found out I was faking. Wow. This is so embarrassing. I just want to kill myself. Then do what it. What are you doing? God. Why'd you show us a fake member of the Future Foundation? That fake mm. was trying to get us out to the real world. Then that's your plan? Huh. Is that where your trap is? Oh. Man, they saw right through me. I may as well be invisible. Huh. What kind of trap did you set? Hey, if you know what's good for you, you mm -hmm. better hurry the hell up and confess. I'll be right. half to death if you tell us now. But if you don't mm. spit it out soon, I'm just gonna kill ya! A kind of should be so violent. Now, <laughs> and this nightmare can finally end. They were like, don't kill him the whole game, but now they want to. This isn't that kind of game. It's a much smarter game, right? What game? Mm. This game is already over. This game is over? Uh-huh. No, no, I'm not gonna let you finish yet. Oh? There's no way this can end before I've even transformed. Into what? Transform? You gonna go Super Saiyan? What is, is it? customary in a final boss battle, right? Right. You know, like that one role-playing game? You know hmm. what game I'm talking about. Final... Final Fantasy? Don't say it. Now then, <laughs> Final <to> Fantasy? Show <laughs> you. I'll skip the second and third forms and go straight to my final form. 
arm. You better not. Be and lucky. what is that? I'm gonna beat the crap out of you and pull all your stuffing out. That's right, Akane. I'm with it, but I don't know what's gonna happen to you. So, are you serious? Is this trying to Super Saiyan? What? I have a bad feeling about this. Like the inside of my brain is burning, sizzling, a really bad feeling. Now then, make sure you burn this ginormous despair you're about to see into your memories. So what's gonna happen? What is he turning into? Is he really turning Super Saiyan? What is it? I'm gonna die! What? Oh? Oh? Oh! No, that's not Juko! Oh my god. Are you dead ass? Are you dead ass? How the hell? Great. Great. She's back. She's back, everybody. How the fudge is she is she here? Look, look. She got her phone here acting like it ain't nothing. What? Now the stage has changed. Look, now we talking to her phone case. What the what? What the hell? What the hell, Junko? What? What's going on? Right! Am I hallucinating? I don't get it. I know anything goes here. But this... But look at her! She looks this cute, but like, what? This is clearly not fucking okay! I see. Huh. So that's your reaction to seeing an extra-large high school girl. But are they really that big? Don't you think they're pretty small? She's huge! Hmm? But the final boss in a certain action game is much bigger. You're yeah. right, but what game? Nightmarella. Said it anyway. Huh? I see. I see. Oh, and An there it goes. Bus size of 15 meters, huh? Her changing the way that she speaks. Huge. Cause she's bored. Oh, hey, want me Great. to squish you in between them? Big boobs feel good, you know. Um, we're not doing I'm that. Fucking crushed. <laughs> if this was a pandering fan service game full of pretty girls, there'd be a CG mm -hmm. close up of my cleavage. But they already bad. did that. This isn't a fan service game. Um, of course, since it's not an action game either. Y'all did some fan service with Mikan. Y'all definitely did you that. Get to experience the refreshing sensation of battling an enormous final boss. <laughs> so fucking hopeless. And there goes all the switches. This is. Monokuma's true identity? Lord Jesus. We have to deal with this thing? I'm I don't know sure why I thought that this thing. she was gone. You're so mean. Um, huh. is it just me or did her personality change? Get used to it. I get easily bored of my personality. Mm -hmm. Like, I already got bored of my personality who gets easily bored. And that's wow. what Nico would say. It's too damn soon to say you got bored, <laughs> right? <laughs> what? I have <laughs> plenty of data on you guys. So it's so easy for me to know what you're all thinking. Wow. Yeah, you are not bored at all. Yes, I'm she not is. Bored of getting bored. Oh, look, and there goes the sad even one. Even when I'm dead, I still get bored. Huh. This sucks. So she is dead. Even when you're dead, does that mean? Is this person's true identity? Junko? I see. Right. They, they got me confused with the other choices. Junko Enoshima? Yes. Did you say Junko Enoshima? Isn't she dead? I thought so. True. I did end up dying the last time. Uh huh. I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to go so fast. I hmm. couldn't help it, you know? It was my first time. What? Jeez. <laughs> Stupid. Like her death virginity? Go. And why is someone who died here right now? Do you right. Guys know about an artificial intelligence called Alter Ego? Don't tell me they made one for you. Exuberance. We are now an AI. Wow. We have transcended humanity. Great. What AI? So now Stop she's an AI. All this crazy bullshit. You see, mm. my personality is like this because I'm the type who dies easily, right? That's why I made huh. my own AI program while I was still alive. So that you could stay alive, bitch. And then God, man. And loaded me into this Neo World program. And that's mm. how Alter Ego Junko hopelessly appeared in front of you guys. Great. That's insane. This insane bitch is Junko Inoshima. She's responsible for everything. The destruction of Posting Academy, the destruction of the world. The one who took over the Neo World program and forced us to kill each other. It was all this bitch is doing. 
Even so, what am I supposed to do? Even if we know she's Junko. Don't get cautious and think stuff like, what huh. do we do? I mean, we're all ultimate <laughs> despair here. I love her voice, I gotta say. Look at us like we're a bunch of loogies on the side all of the, the road. All the switches are funny. So, let's all be friends. No. no. Man, they hate me. <laughs> I was thinking of you guys when I tampered with the graduation program. Hmm. They still hate me. Tampered? Tampered? With the graduation program? Right. Well, what that fake Makoto said earlier. Uh -huh. About what happens to you when you graduate, right? I feel like you guys hmm. weren't getting a big enough reward for graduating. Oh? So, I decided to modify what happened so it's something exciting and unique. Just like a game. And what was it? What is going on? Who's she calling? Uploading your game memories into your real bodies is fine. Huh. Letting your friends stay dead just sucks. Oh my god. I decided to resurrect them. Really? They get to come back? This is the new graduation program I'm offering. Oh my god. Hey, are, are you serious? Can you really do that? He's gonna want to do that for Pekka. hard, you know? The graduation program is the core part of this game. Oh my god. I've never seen this one. Coach. I've never seen this personality here. It took me a long time. Mm. I felt so much despair about how useless I am. Well, one advantage of being an AI is that I got smarter with computers. Before that, every time a computer froze, I used to put it in a microwave and nuke it. What? Oh, um, there goes the teacher. Think it took for me to modify it? Who cares about uh, Who cares, right? Are you serious when you say that everyone who died will come back to life? Did you forget? You gotta answer questions to progress the story. Of course we do. That's the rule of this game, right? By the way, mm. I'll give you a clue. You guys were always watching time slip away at a certain place. The fun house? Until we answer that. We're completely at her mercy. But if we can't progress unless we answer, we have no choice but to answer. How long it took for Junko Inoshima to modify the graduation program? She said we were watching how long it took. If so, the certain place we were watching that was... That? Okay, the bomb. Huh. The countdown at Jabberwock Park. Mm -hmm. That's the only place we can think of. That's the only that place, was the only place that had time. That has right. To do with time. Then that countdown represented the time that was needed to modify the program. Wow. So that was the countdown oh, for the program. Totally wrong. Oh. <laughs> You're totally oh? wrong about that tricky timer. So oh, what was it? What was it? How should I put this? I was just goofing around. So it was nothing? I mean, isn't stuff you don't understand exciting even though you don't get it? No! It's kind of like superhero cosplayers or someone else's designs of alien life and stuff, right? It, it was... So it was just show? nothing. In the end, it was meaningless. Wow. Does that fill you with despair? Like getting booted from a game server? That's like a middle finger to the face. It's like a slap to the face this entire you know time we played this game. mysteries where the culprit is really the detective who's investigating the murder? Well, I'm so over-predictable crap like that. Just what huh. did you expect at this stage of the game? She's... She's seriously messed up. Yeah. In a way, the countdown implied I was on a mission. Did you ever mm. make up your own silly rules, like don't step off the white line when you cross the road? I was testing myself to see huh. if I could get you guys into the graduation program before the timer reached zero. Enough. So that was a test for Please herself. Stop. Don't be Got so it. disappointed. It's totally true. I had a hard time manipulating the program. While you mm. guys were at the beach making wrinkly dog faces, I was working so hard on my own, you know? Oh, boo-hoo! Hey, enough of this pointless right. crap! Are you seriously going to resurrect everyone who died? Like I said, huh. it's easy. Hmm. It's just a game, after all. Just a game? Yeah. Each and everything that happened in this world was just an event within the game. There's no way anything that occurred in the game could affect the real world. What you're saying mm. now is completely different right. from what you said before. Somebody lied. You said whether or not it's a lie. The moment you feel something is real, it becomes, it becomes real. real. The game where you throw my words back at me is over. <laughs> so you don't really <laughs> have to worry about it. Fine. I won't worry about it. Oh, hey, who fucking cares about logic? Mm. As long as everyone who died comes back to life, that's good enough. Oh, free ego. If we do not understand the principles behind it, mm -hmm. then we do not even know if it is really possible. Right, how could she do that? 
You've seen that happen so many times already, right? Well, if a high school girl can get huge, mm. then it's not crazy if the dead can come back to life, right? If she's saying I mean, that's she's the she's AI. the computer program, how are we supposed to respond to that? That's right. Mm. That's why you should finish this game and go back to living a normal life in the real world. You want us to experience despair, what do you so... What benefit do you get by making us return to the real world? Despair. As long as we don't know what it is. Man, that's so annoying. You're so petty. It's not like you're a housewife living on a tight budget. Uh -huh. All I want is to put on this graduation performance in a more dramatic way. Nah. Well, if you doubt me, you don't have to go back. Is that what you want? Not to go back? I don't even oh, know anymore. On a sec. We're obviously going to get out of here. If it'll bring our dead friends back, it's all we can do. Of course. We've been working toward that goal for like forever. Because we had that goal, uh -huh. we were able to endure those killings. Right. So we can go back together. So there's no reason to hesitate. You are right. There is no way we can choose to stay here after all we've been through. Just as expected from the winners of this killing school trip. Your will to live is truly ultimate. Oh, really? That's just more reason for you to execute your role as devices. Devices? Okay, now let's stop stalling for time with exposition and hurry up and do it. Now then, why oh, don't you Lord. guys just go ahead and answer with the touch panel that's in front of you. I'm uh -uh. gonna do it. I'm seriously gonna do it. If you don't hurry up, I'm seriously really gonna do it. I don't, don't trust her. Say, Who are you talking to? It doesn't concern a chump like you, Hajime. Oh, Ch chump? Don't wow. Worry about it. Everything's gonna be over once we press this. So we I just don't... have to press graduate, right? I don't if know. We, do that, we can go home. I don't know. I can go back with this. I can finally go back. He's right. With this, we can finally go back. This would be the end, and our friends who died will be saved. That's way beyond what we expected. Then it's safe to say this is a good the ending, right? I could press, don't press anything, right? That's a, but then that's a vote as well. I don't, oh, I don't want to press. <laughs> I don't want to press anything. I don't want to make a choice. What if I press, don't press anything? Oh, what am I doing? Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, so they're making me. I can, oh Jesus. Are they making me? It says a majority vote. So I got it. Oh? Don't press it. This is Jugo's trap. Oh? What the heck? That guy from earlier is back again. Huh. It's not again. This time it's the real one. Oh really? I'm Makoto Naegi. Makoto Naegi of the Future Foundation. Oh, thank you, Makoto. This guy is the real Makoto Naegi? Then this is the guy I spoke to. I'm sorry, I'm late. I actually wanted to come rescue you sooner, but but what? The virus infecting the Neo World program. I wasn't able to enter. Just when the chumps are in a pinch, he's suddenly able to enter for reasons unknown. And huh. just the main character gallantly appears. <laughs> so cool! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so much. Oh my God! Did you also time my arrival? No. I think so. It doesn't matter. I'm going to save everyone. And then I'm going to settle this between us once and for all. That's right, Makoto. I'm ruling. I can't stop my league. Oh my goodness. Were you able to get here, Makoto? Since I used my tricks to hack into the program, he must have hacked in with his tricks too, right? Exactly. That's also how you kept your memories, right? Even though you haven't aged a day, just like these guys. Huh. If I hadn't, then I wouldn't have been able to save everyone. Don't you okay. It doesn't matter how you got here. As long as you're here, you'll be treated like one of my students. Mm. Which means you must respect my authority. Oh, really? I already know the risks of being here. Mm -hmm. You always had such a reckless hope. I love you so <laughs> much that you disgust me. Just what do you mean by trap? Right. What is Juko's trap? She wants to kill us. It doesn't matter. She wants us to be in despair. We can finally end this, you know? If we get out of here, it'll all resolve itself peacefully. After mm. all this, I can't let you get in the way. The fact oh. that you guys are even thinking like that is Junko's trap. Right. Huh? She's lying to you about your dead friends coming back to life. And that's why I didn't trust it, see? That's why I didn't want to press anything. If you knew Junko's true goal, you'd know she's lying. She's trying to get you us to be in despair. Yeah. 
Junko's goal is to convert the Hope Restoration Program mm -hmm. to the Despair Restoration Program. Exactly. <sighs> Despair Restoration Program? Mm -hmm. As part of the Graduation Program, your avatar's memory and consciousness is uploaded into your real body. Mm -hmm. However, none of us expected that any of the avatars would get deleted. Right. Junko has taken advantage of that opportunity. And made them think she that they were dead. to use her version of Alter Ego. The AI she stole my friend's skill to create. Oh, Cheerio! The bodies of everyone whose avatar was deleted. What? Mm. What? Everyone who died isn't gonna come back to life. It's gonna be her. Taken over by wow. What the fuck? Like wow. The Once an avatar is deleted from this virtual world, it can't be recovered. So there's nothing we can it's do. It's impossible to revive them. There's nothing we can do. That doesn't do. mean I was lying, you know? I just didn't make some things clear. No. And even if they're overwritten by my alter ego, it doesn't mean they'll be a completely different person. The yes, data they of who died is stored within me, so I'm sure I can convincingly act out their personalities. Hmm. Don't mess with me. Right, he's trying to get his fact, Peko back. We have a lot of data on Fujihiko. Oh? So, I know some things that'll make you happy. What? Play a version of Peko that's more to your liking than she ever was. Oh. Oh! Don't fucking mess with me! Don't mess with Peko. <laughs> Don't do it. Operation Junkify All Mankind begins here. Junkify All Mankind. Including my alter ego into everyone who died. I'm gonna take over the Future Foundation's headquarters. Mm. Oh my yeah, goodness. Eventually. There's gonna be a whole lot of me's all over the world. That, that's Goodness. scary. My despair utopia, where you can despair as you please, Junko Land, will be complete. That's Operation Junko by All Mankind. In a she is show. crazy. Oh, yeah. Our dreams are expanding and She is crazy. This is a crazy what bitch. Messed up plan? Is your goal? Right. Why didn't you just kill all of us? If you did, you could have taken over all of our bodies. Wouldn't that have been more convenient for you? She wants us is to be in despair. To is it still too late to do that? No. Hmm. There's a reason Junko couldn't do that. That's why she made you guys kill each other. Huh. The reason she was able to do that was because there was something she didn't do? If so, then the reason is she didn't have a real body. Or the school trips... Was it the school trips rules? I see. There we go. There we go. The rules. She couldn't defy the rules. It's because of the school trip's rules. Exactly. Even a monster like her has to follow the rules of the school trip? Mm -hmm. Junko usurped Usami's authority as an observer, and her role as your teacher. Mm -hmm. However, according to the rules of the school trip, even Usami had to follow up. Right. That's why when Junko took over her position, she had no, she had choice. no choice but to follow the rules as well. Mm-hmm. The lead teacher cannot directly interfere. So the rules were protecting us? Yes. Man, I was so annoyed. <laughs> I have the authority to add rules, but no authority to delete rules. Oh, well. Hmm. Even if I could have deleted rules, I was still busy with my whole taking over your bodies plan. She is so crazy. you made us kill each other. Because you couldn't kill us yourself. Mm -hmm. Is that how you were able to increase the number of bodies you can take over? Like wow. I, said, I personally didn't care about the outcome of the killings. How mm. dare you look down on us? Right, Stop just things. What about our lives? She doesn't care. She change. <sighs> yep, she doesn't care. I won't forgive you. Mm. I will never, ever fucking forgive you. Go get her baby so face. Your trap. You try to make us choose graduate. Mm -hmm. So you can take over everyone's body with the graduation program. But see, I didn't want to choose anything because I didn't trust her. So cruel. Because Junko and Oshima is mm -hmm. the true ultimate despair. Mm -hmm. She doesn't yearn for any kind of future at all. Yeah, she wants everybody to suffer. She meets with despair. That's to suffer. Kodo. You understand me so well. Oh my god. <laughs> despair is not a goal or a set of principles or a lifestyle or even an instinct. Mm. It's what defines me as Junko Enoshima. It's just my characterization. Mm. That's why I'm able to pursue despair with such purity. So you're saying you only exist yeah. to fill people with despair? To be a bitch. For example, want to hear about a beautiful memory that even I, who gets bored easily, still remember fondly? What, you die? Thousands of fools who are madly in love with me 
dying one by one like insects doused with bug spray. Oh! Artists, they did it to themselves, you know? The mass suicides. Oh, Jesus. Oh, like dominoes. Oh, that memory is so beautiful. It made my brain melt. Oh yeah, my goodness. That? Does that story have a happy ending? It's happy for her. Could it be? Is she talking about them right now? I think she's talking about the reserve course students. Yep. Them. Are you talking about the reserve course's mm -hmm. mass suicide? Oh yeah. I totally forgot you're a survivor of the reserve course. Mm. By the way, I'm so sorry for your loss. Bitch! Oh! Wow. What's she talking about? An incident. All the other ones died except for him. people from the reserve course all killed themselves. Mm. Junko probably made them do it. 2,357 people? Yes. That's an outrageous number. I know. You don't have to be that surprised. You all look like your parents, friends, and lovers all tied at once. Oh, that was so rude of me. Uh, There's no way you guys even have meaningful relationships like that anymore. Oh, wow. I mean, you're all ultimate despair. Mm. You guys have already eaten your fill of despair. I, I do not really know what you are trying to say. Exactly. Chico robs the futures of everyone she interacts with. You ultimate despairs mm -hmm. are among her many victims. Just like little pawns. That means the world is yearning for despair. That's wrong. Huh. The world isn't yearning for despair. That's the reason we can't let you escape. Yeah, yeah we, we cannot can let that. you out. You guys won't be able to return to the real world, right? Huh? Huh? We choose graduate to get out of here. The graduation program will act. And she will right? take over our bodies. If that happens. Junko's alter ego will be uploaded into the bodies of the dead. Yes. Does that mean we gotta stay here to keep her from getting out? Huh. What the heck? Why does it have Man. to be like that? It's such a cruel cool fate for you guys. Yes, it is. But it's awfully convenient for the Future Foundation. They'll mm. be able to keep all the ultimate despairs, including me, trapped in this game forever. Wrong. That's not it. The oh? Life, ultimate despair is hated worldwide. And their lives are no doubt targeted by the Future Foundation. Oh well, hmm. if you don't want to acknowledge that, I guess it just can't be helped. Can't be helped. <laughs> LOL. Oh this wow. This is to LOL about. Thank you, Sonia. Oh, so ironic. You came all the way here just to find out that graduating is the wrong choice. Even though you came all this way to win the game. Mm. Even though you kept sacrificing your she friends to win. She loves it. She loves it. All you despair. guys squirmed to reach was wrong all along. Isn't that just so fucking tragic? She loves it. Stop it! Aww. It was all a mistake? Was this really just a mistake? Was it a mistake to think that we'd go home alive all along? What about the killings in the class trials? Was this just a meaningless killing game where the ultimate despairs killed each other off? That, this is Don't just too. Yet. Oh, he's like, you better you guys can fight over hope. Without letting Junko out. Hmm. No, no, there's no way such a convenient... There is. Oh. Really? Well, that's the first I've heard of it. Oh? First she's heard of it. Then it's a way that even Junko doesn't know, right? The way to get out that Junko... Oh, it might be that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. We know what it is. We know what it is. We know what it is. It's, it's that. It's... Yeah. It's that. Right? Oh, oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, God. And Makoto showed it to me. He did show it to me. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, no? Okay. Oh, that. The shutdown sequence. I wasn't reading. I wasn't reading. Okay, there we go. There we go. The shutdown sequence. I was not reading. I'm so sorry. Are you talking about the shutdown sequence? Shutdown uh -huh. sequence? What is that? It's a hidden command I set up in the Neo World program. Yeah. Hidden command? Basically, I never believed the Neo World program was a perfect solution. It was a fail state. There's always a possibility that Usami's hope might have made things even worse for you guys. Hmm. So I prepared a way to shut down the program in case of emergencies. As I recall, you said it was uh -huh. a command that not even the teacher can stop. Yeah. Even Junko can stop it. Yeah. I have an unfortunate announcement to make, Cloud. Oh? You cannot activate the shutdown. How? You... You know about it? More hmm. importantly, do you know why? Do you know why you can't activate the shutdown? No. The reason the shutdown sequence can't be activated is... Oh, not enough... Not enough people. I don't think. I see. There's not enough people. There's not enough. Because... There's mm. not enough people? <clears throat> Pay attention, wow. class. According to my information, in order to initiate the shutdown, 
Mm -hmm. Out of 15 people, more than half, half of, of them, them must press graduate yep. and repeat at the same time. Wow. Am I correct? However, out of 15 people, including Makoto, mm -hmm. there are only six people here. Even if you want to cheat, I won't let ya. The shutdown sequence won't oh, activate man. unless it knows that different people initiated it. Damn it. It's totally impossible. Hmm. You totally saw through that supposedly hidden command? No need to worry. Mm. Even I knew we couldn't activate the shutdown. Oh? You still came here when you knew we had no chance of winning? You probably had something to sleep, though. no chance of winning. The only reason I'm here is because there is a chance. Mm. Try explaining it to us. What is this chance of winning of which you speak? I believe... Oh, uh, what? Huh? I can't hear you. You gotta speak up since you're so puny. Don't call from a Kodo. Even them. I believe they will definitely come. Who? Who's them? That's not Bianca! something you need to take your time saying. Hello! Oh, B Biakia! Try putting yourself in our shoes before you drag us into situation. Biakia? Oh, well, he did, he did live. He did live in the other one. Okay, so he's not dead. So, okay. Chiyoko! Byakuya. Oh my god. You guys would come. Kyoko Byakuya. Leaving behind someone who jumps to conclusions without listening to our warnings. I you know I'm what? Sorry. This is the first time that I'm actually appreciative that Byakuya is back. Okay? Because he can help us get out of here. So, you know, I'm going to leave him alone for now. I didn't I wasn't supposed to erase you. That's why it took me so long to put you up on his board. It wasn't your time. You're good. You you can get off of here. You can get off. Even though it took some time for two people to enter the program simultaneously, mm. it appears we made it. Good hey, man! What's going on? Y'all the MVPs. Well, how exciting! I haven't seen these faces in ages. It's like Same. your high school yearbook ten years later. I must say, now huh. that I've seen her up close, she's much bigger than I remembered. Because she's the AI. What? What kind of man isn't excited by big women? Oh. Once you gain some <laughs> more experience, you'll understand. Oh, but here's a lot of kinky things you can do with big girls. Oh my God! He says, "Shut up!" <laughs> yeah, you're alive, but you're so. The other one was. Now. Other one was a fake. I feel so bad for you. You shut up too. Oh. Um, are you ah. two also from the Future Foundation? I'm guessing no, yes. It's probably not just that. Huh. They were the okay tragedy. It's a killing school life is referring to that. Are the survivors mm -hmm. of the killing school life of the first game? Yeah. Yep. That's right. There's three of them here now. The former heroes huh. plunging themselves into the game world. I like it. All danger. Jesus, stupids, You're making such a suicidal move. Did you really want to see me that badly? Want to get rid of you yeah, that badly? In order to stop you, that suicidal move was our only choice. So how about it? there are eight people? Let's go. We have enough to activate the shutdown sequence. Let's go. I wonder if this is real crying or fake crying. Why are you crying? Huh? You guys showed up looking all cool and stuff. They do though. <laughs> Again. She's like, don't make me be trash. As long as we activate the shutdown sequence, it'll mm -hmm. be the end of her and this messed up world. And this messed up hey, world. Can I ask you something? Right. You shut down the program. What happened to us? Mm -hmm. No need to worry. We oh. won't let you get hurt. It's not so what's going to happen? We want a right. more detailed explanation. If you shut down the Neo World program, huh. everything within the program will be deleted. You huh. obviously delete Alter Ego Junko, along with your avatars here. So you're saying we're so, going to be deleted too? It doesn't right. mean you'll be deleted. The program will just finish without completing the graduation program. What okay. does that mean for us? So do we live? Your avatars will not upload. So you will revert to your original state before you entered the program. Okay. Is there a reason to tell them all that? Um, yes, Byakuya. Or else they won't agree to do it. Hold on a second. Sheesh. If we go back to our original we won't remember any of this. We the program. If we're going to revert back to our original selves before we enter the program, the... Will we lose model coins? 
Um, let's see. I don't think we'll revert. Will we revert to ultimate despairs? Because that happened while we were there. The killings won't start over. I see. Huh. We'll go back to being ultimate despair. That's mm. right. Back to being hopelessly controlled by me. When you wow. used to feel despair upon despair. <laughs> no. Hey, huh. Are you fucking serious? Can't you do anything about it? I understand right. your concern. But this is the only way to stop Junko. Damn it, we gotta sacrifice ourselves. Decision. But I know you guys will be able to overcome it. That's why. Uh. In order to defeat despair. I want you guys to fight alongside us. I I want to. to. Fight? I, I thought we finally reached the end. Yeah, no. Nah. Once you get out, we will do our best to support you. Thank but you. I thought the Future Foundation wanted to kill every last ultimate despair. Hmm. When you say support, do you mean I'll make sure you don't suffer when I kill you? Uh -huh. or? Of course not. We would never allow that to happen. That's right, Kyoko. It's be all right. The real bodies have just been brainwashed. That's mm. why I'm pretty sure you'll quickly revert back to the state you're in right now. I hope Can so. You stop saying cheesy stuff like brainwashed. Washing your brain is like really nasty. Can we get away from that? Still, even if our brainwashing is undone, the memories we've made up till now will be erased. Right? Yeah. Why we will completely forget everything we did on this island. Yeah. I don't want that. It doesn't matter what you want. That's mm. the reality. Every meaningless thing that happened here will vanish from your minds. Sheesh. Meaningless. Vanish. Does that include her too? If we lose our memories of this world, we're also going to forget she ever existed, right? If that happens, does it really mean that that she and existence combined to this world is really going to disappear? She risked her life to protect us, and we won't even remember she Memories existed. Not all that'll go back oh, to Oh, unless we talk about Chiaki. If you lost a limb, like Nagito, it'll still be gone when... <gasps> oh, stop! Going back to reality in that condition, mm. that's like a bad joke. We're not joking. Yeah. That is your past. Nobody can escape their past. Very true. We don't know anything about that past. Hey, why? Why did we become ultimate despair in the first place? I asked the same mm. thing in the real world, but... Nobody would give me an answer. Of course it not. It seems my teachings were quite thorough. However, if you ask me, people mm. who cling to stuff like hope, talent, or admiration are truly the weakest. Oh, huh? really? Guys who desperately want to reach the top. Hmm. They don't think about what'll happen when they're pushed off. They're probably too concerned with having a really nice view while they condescend to others. Shoving wow. Shoving guys like that is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> you happen to know 17,082 ways to do that. Specifically? The point is, the moment you cling to talent and hope, despair has already set in. That's not even an explanation. Right. Hmm. What if you think about it like this? It turns out that you guys being ultimate despair was just uh -huh. part of the game world. And in truth, those guys from the Future Foundation might be part of the game world too. They're simply side characters of the game world whose role is to offer hopeless oh. hope to you guys. Everything's well, glitching now. All that. I don't even know what's real and what's a game anymore. And y'all are confusing are you me. Enough. My patience is wearing thin. Let's hurry and start the shutdown sequence already. He said, let's go. I didn't get in here for nothing. We gotta do some reviewing. Reviewing? Who's she calling? <laughs> When you guys activate the shutdown, uh -huh. you'll back to when you were known as Ultimate Despair. And your death friends will never be revived. And the embodiment of despair, aka me, will uh -huh. be erased, thereby preserving hope in the real world. Okay. Now then, will the hope of the future foundation win? Mm. Or will my despair win? No. Nope. Alright! Things are starting to heat up! This isn't a game, this, you know. Right. How contraire. This is a game. The game of hope and despair that started with your killing school life. Mm. That explains why these chunks who weren't around last time have been reduced to mere side characters. I mean, they were the main characters in the first game. Us chunks again. Right, beat her ass to <laughs> Most importantly, the killing school trip wasn't just for your sake. Oh? There was a more important goal there. 
the goal of luring a specific group of people. Uh -huh. Since now's a great time, why don't we make that the question? How? Huh? As long as we're in the game world, the rules say I gotta ask questions every now and then. Okay. So, question. Who did I lure and how did I do it? The, the future kids. foundation? I bored easily. So the same outcome as the killing school life would be a pain in the ass. Okie dokie. So. Let's think about it together. They learn the same outcome as the killing school life. Do I just have to remember what occurred there? The people Junko lured, the method. I should try connecting these dots. There should be an answer there. So what is. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. So let's see. Lord Jesus. Oh, uh, who does she learn here? Was it the Future Foundation? Or the survivor, which might be me because I survived and all the other reserve course students died? Maybe it was me that she wanted to learn here. I have no idea. So let's see. Huh. What is it? What is it? They just need to, they just need to ask me the question already. I'm trying to figure out who it is. It might be me, but I'm not sure. So, let's see. Okay, are they gonna give me an answer? Are they gonna, are they Are they not? Are they not gonna, okay, you know what, I think I just killed myself. Okay, there we go. I just killed myself, that's fine, that's fine. All right, let's get over there, bam. Now let's jump over that, and then get back over. I thought I had to jump over it to save myself, but. Who did Junko Inoshima want to lure? The Future Foundation, right? The Future Foundation, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, so I was right, the Future Foundation, cool. All right, so we was right about that. Got it. Okay, so let's get through that, bam. Yep, there we go, okay. So she was luring the Future Foundation and maybe me as well, that's what I think. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, that was a little fast. That was a little fast, let me go back. There we go, let's jump. There we go, we're good. We're not gonna die. We're, we're good, okay, let me go over to that. There we go, there we go. Let's not die here, ooh, okay, there we go. Question two, what bait was used to learn the Future Foundation? Huh, the bait for the Future Foundation? Junko herself? Junko, maybe? Nope, okay, so it was the killings. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, all right, all right, all right. So it was the killings. The killings were the bait. Huh. To make them stop it. Oh, maybe the killings were like a thing to make them see that she was in there. Maybe. Okay. Oh God, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to avoid these things. I am. I am trying. God. All right. Sheesh. Let's get the next question already. God. Who? This is gonna get me. This is gonna get me sick. This is gonna get me sick. This is gonna get me sick. There we go. Who? I'm trying not to die, y'all. There we go. Okay, get to the next question already. Get to the next question. Sheesh. All right, question three. What did you go use to force them to watch the killings? The, surve the surveillance camera. This is the surveillance camera? <laughs> okay. All right, the surveillance cameras. There we go. All right, now we made it. There we go. So she used the surveillance cameras to show the killing. I got it. Got it's it. All coming together. Okay. I meant they said surveillance caramel. <laughs> you used the surveillance cameras. Hmm. You were trying to lure the future foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? Uh huh. Cameras? That's what they were being used for? In I mean, somebody was watching it. The surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. Mm hmm. And then these were broadcast these to show the them. cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding, mm -hmm. ding. I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. I bet she was. That's not hard to believe. The, the footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? Yes. What shall I do? I did oh. a lot of disgraceful 
Careful with these in front of those cameras. Like what? Mm, sure did. What? Be queen, what? Right? Please forget what you saw. <laughs> so you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried They're trying to, to figure out a way. Times, but the virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Mm. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. So they had to go As inside. Last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but that would kill us. What would happen to the subjects if we cut the power uh. while the program was still running? There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Well, thank you for that. So, we kept trying over and over again. Until it was finally possible for us to enter the program just mm. a short time ago. And you came all the way here. We knew it was a trap. Mm -hmm. They had to oh, sacrifice yeah. themselves. You couldn't just leave them alone. If you saw people dying one by one with your own eyes mm -hmm. by the same killing game you guys played, hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, oh, Yes, well, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? Wait, you don't want hey, it to happen again. Don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Of course we made you do it for that reason. Mm. We orchestrated this I hate game. that voice of killing you outright solely to show it off to the future foundation. We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles mm. just so you could show it off to the future foundation. Pretty much. That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I use to be the a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This mm. game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys were just instigators in the background. We're pawns. But you guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just one second, huh. please. That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world uh -huh. of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. Wow. You guys chose to be instigators, and you were willingly taken into the Neo World program. Because we are working for to her. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this wow. battle between hope and despair into overtime. That's so, crazy. The reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. That's just your imagination. Oh. Uh, naive Makoto totally fell for the trap. <laughs> oh, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Whoa, that despair is fucking obvious. You're here to rescue the assholes who set this up in the first place. Don't go blaming us for this. Right. Thank you. It's all thanks to you guys. This mm. time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. No, you Do won't. Not feel despair. Right, Even Yoko. This was all a trap. We will never regret coming here. That's and right. This is the only thing we could do to stop you. But mm. nevertheless, it's all over. We will mm -hmm. shut you down and end all of this. I appreciate the Aquia now. Oh, that's pretty fucking obvious. If you don't initiate the shutdown, those future Foundation fuckwits are gonna be trapped here forever. Huh. Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I already explain it? You know, the graduation exam rule? Wow. Great. There are two options, graduate and repeat. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. Huh. The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is... Um... The teacher's final decision. Right? Yep, they have to judge us to make sure that we can get out. As I recall. We also need the teacher's final decision. Mm hmm Lee, there's no way I'd let the members of the mm. Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the Foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. Mm. That's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't, doesn't activate, activate. Right? But that's impossible. Everyone mm. here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. Right. We know that. All too well. I mean... She's been bad mouthing us this whole time. Yes, she has. It looks like we shouldn't have talked so much. Huh. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. Uh huh. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Thinking mm. we back down because of something like that is a huge mistake. That's well, there you go. Plan. Thinking your little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. Huh? Mm. You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. She gonna stop calling no the chumps. They'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look up on their faces. They look what? like piglets who were forced to watch their mom roasting on a spit. There's no fucking way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. They were. We might. That is... Well... Hmm? Juco, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. Because there's hope. It's true Ultimate that they hope. walked the wrong path before. 
But that's all in the past now. What I right. believe in is not their past, but their futures. Thank you, Makoto. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, like having like a despair, hope, clash, orgasm here. Like, no <laughs> what you do my goodness. Me, I will never fall into despair. Mm -hmm. uh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's going to make you fall into despair. That's oh? the mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. What? Mastermind? Great. Mastermind? Great. Someone else is coming? That Great. Can't be. It's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. But they always fall into Great. the pattern. So I was kind of worried about that. Enough already. Yeah, you did that in the first game. What are you game. talking about? Oh, well. Let's bring him out with lots of energy. I knew it! Mr. Izuru Kamakura! I knew he was still alive. Kamakura? I knew he was still alive. That name, I've heard it before. That person was called the Ultimate Hope. But that shouldn't be all he was. He was a genius. That's right. I've seen a person I've, that was called Izuru Kamakura somewhere else. As I recall, that person was the founder of the Academy. Uh-huh. So is he here? Izuru Kamakura. Isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? Right. Seeing his picture it was everywhere. On the beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That mm -hmm. name. It was definitely Izuru Kamakura, right? Yes. However, based on the information I know, the man known as Izuru Kamakura. If I recall, he's a super genius he's who acquired genius. many talents. Mm. He was even called the ultimate Pope, right? Right. Huh? Does the founder have the same name as that ultimate hope guy? Is that kind huh. of coincidence even possible? The future foundation might know something, right? Makoto? Kyoko? Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person called Izuru Kamukura. It's a mm. mystery if such a person ever really existed. Oh, really? And not just that. The matter was closed without ever being settled because of that incident. If you do not know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. Well, the reason it. Zuru's existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Hid it where? Why did the hide his existence? If right. I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious student ended up killing 13 student yeah. council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. Izuru is the killer responsible for Hope's Peak Academy's biggest, most awful event. Oh, so is that Izuru's face when he was younger? I'm thinking that, that was Kyoko's death. All right. <laughs> You're the one who set it up, right? Information hmm. about Izuru completely vanished after that incident. We thought Junko and Ashima killed them? They yes. Such cruel things. I mean, you Izuru would. Izuru Kamakura is very much alive. Is wow. That right, Hajime. Hajime? What? What? I am. What? Like what? I said, you're Izuru Kamakura. How the hell? How? How? Alrighty. How the hell? You don't understand. What are you talking about? You're Izuru Kamakura. You're Izuru Kamakura. You're Izuru Kamakura. What? Seriously, what are you talking about? How? How? How is that possible? There's no way. There's no way Hajime is Izuru Kamakura. How? Is that ultimate hope, right? But Hajime. That's right. Hajime is one of those reserve course dropouts and has no talent whatsoever. That was a lie? Is really, Izuru Kamakura makes all this much more hopeless. So I'm the enemy? I'm Izuru Kamakura? How the hell is this possible? I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. So. What? Good news, Hajime. What? Even though you were mocked for being a reserve course student. Uh-huh. He had a talent all along. Ultimate hope. How can what? someone from the reserve course have such an amazing talent like that? Right. In order to hide Izuru's identity, hmm. was he hidden in the reserve course? Then so, Hajime's name is Bank. So I'm not me? There, there's no doubt I'm Hajime Hinata. I've always had that name ever since I was born. So then Izuru is your fake name? I don't I don't know. Hey, I don't know. You weren't lying to us, right? 
I no. I do not want any more last minute plot twists. I know. Have you created hope? Huh? The Izuru. What? I'm the ultimate hope? Then the current me and Izuru Kamakura are the same? What did Homesick Academy do to me? What? You know, okay. Even you so maybe it was at the end. How can someone from such an amazing in order to hide it? Was he hidden in the in so, there, There's no doubt. I've always had that name. Let's then see. Izuru is your hey. You were I do not want any Could it be created. Huh. Huh? Let's get that and hit that. That must be What? Okay. 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 <laughs> I am so thrown. Are you talking about the Hope Cultivation Plan? Hope hmm. Cultivation Plan. What is that? A while back, I saw a file kept by the Future Foundation. Oh? For many years, Hope's Peak Academy was researching a breakthrough plan to cultivate personal talent. It's hmm. true, it was a breakthrough plan. After all, it was a plan to create the perfect genius. Create this time, the Hope Cultivation Plan was the earnest wish of Hope's Peak Academy. In fact, mm. that's why the Academy was established. Part of that plan was researching the talents of Ultimates. Because the plan was so important, uh -huh. they adopted the name of the Academy's founder and called it the Izuru Kamakura Project. Wow. Izuru Kamakura Project? Just a little while wow. ago, they were finally able to reach the experimental stage of that plan. From mm. there, they set their sights on the reserve course dropouts to use them as experiments. Lab rats. Why did they use the reserve course as lab rats? A plan to create hmm. talent artificially requires test subjects that are wholly lacking in talent. They didn't have any. From that group of reserve course students, the one who was finally chosen was... Hajime. Hajime. Who stands before you now. Wow. Why me? Because you admired Hope's Peak Academy more than anybody else. Wow. But you still don't get it. You were used by the Academy. Wow. You wanted your feelings of admiration toward hope and talent just to use you as a lab rat. What? See, uh. I tell you, the moment you bring the talent and hope, despair has already set in. Lies. So That's definitely a lie. Oh my god. After many surprises, Hajime Hinata was transformed into Izuru 1.0. Excuse me. Transformed. Right. Do to him. Did they change my body? To go to extremes, it's impossible to change a normal person into a perfect genius. Okay. So naturally, they went to extremes. So what happened to me? By directly interfering with his brain, Hope's Peak Academy transformed Hajime Hinata into a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. What? Known as Izuru Kamakura. How was I supposed to know this? Eventually, I don't... Izuru became an ultimate despair, thanks to me. But all I did to Izuru was simply break his spirit. Wow. It's nothing compared to what Hope's Peak Academy did to him. Not even close. Wow. Seriously. It's scary how determined the researchers were to mess with the human brain that much. My to goodness. To main acts that nobody else is capable of with such a calm mind and a steady hand. I right. so much. It makes my mind numb. By the way, you're just a simple avatar right now. So even if you touch your head, you won't feel the scar. Are you serious? Did they really do something like How that? How was I supposed to predict well, that? Like, I, there's no way. Hachime gets out of here. He's gonna be a super genius, right? Like so I gotta said, say. He's not Hajime. He's a completely different person whose specialty is talent itself. Hmm. A different person? How is he different? All of his senses, emotions, thoughts, and hobbies that interfere with acquiring talent have been excised. Wow. All of his memories of the past have been forcefully suppressed into the darkest recesses of his mind. And that's why I didn't remember anything. Emotions? Hmm. He doesn't even have a memory? It's None so of that. Like he is a completely different person. So that's why it's so surprising that Hachime even exists here at all. Hmm. Even if he's just an avatar. The Neo wow. program must have dug up those memories and rebuilt his old personality from data from the past. I cannot help but feel huh. impressed that the Neo World program was able to accomplish such Maybe a Maybe Chirio was able to do yeah, that. For so, Hachime, huh. He probably would have been better off if he stayed erased. Then, when Hajime returns to his original state after the shutdown, I'm gonna be completely different. He'll disappear. Oh! All that will remain is Izuru Kamakura, an entirely hmm. different personality created by Hope Speak Academy. Wow. He will no longer be Hajime Hinata. 
I'll be Izuru. Disappear? I'm gonna disappear? 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 Oh, he's tripping out. He's tripping out. He is tripping out. Oh my god. Whoa! Ooh! Hold on! That's kind of scary! I don't like that! But no matter what happens, it's of no concern to me. Oh! This is from Nagato's person. Wow! This is from Nagato's point of view. And this is him looking at Hajime. Or Izuru. That's what he really looks like. I would not be able to participate in what lies ahead. I don't understand, but I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason to meet again. After all, you are boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Wow, so that's what he really looks like. That is scary. Yeah, that's scary. Yes. No. That's not me! That's you! That's what you are! That's who Izuru Kamakura is! You're the mm. one who brought me into this world! You're Izuru Kamakura, the mastermind behind all of this! Wow! Could it be? The one who uploaded you into the Neo World program was- Was Hajime! It's not me! Just so you know, huh. as long as your brain has been messed with, you can't undo it no matter how hard you try! Jesus! have no way to be saved, you say? Huh. But you already know what you must do. I do? I already know. How can I be saved? I gotta... Oh, Lord Jesus. I don't freaking know. Choose graduate? I don't know. I see. I just need to choose graduate then, huh? In that case... The Hajime avatar will be uploaded into his real body. Huh. So Hajime will be safely reborn. Truly a royal road to a hopeless happy ending. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You can't right. do that. If you do that, everyone who died will be taken, taken over. over like Jugo's alter ego. Right. What? If you guys don't start the shutdown, the future foundation will be trapped here. I huh. can't allow the future foundation to sacrifice themselves for the ultimate despairs. Jeez, you should have hmm. said so before. You guys aren't honest at all. That's not it. What we're saying is we have to protect hmm. the world from despair, you yes. say? Okay, okay, that's getting so old. Do you really have to sacrifice yourselves just yes. to protect the world in the first place? Yes. What if the world's hope is different from your hope? Hmm? Even if the world is happy, it's meaningless if you aren't happy. That's I mean... Plus, I mean the Future Foundation wants to kill all the Ultimate Despairs, right? Once you go back to being Ultimate Despair, mm -hmm. the Future Foundation's punishment time will activate. Oh! It would be absolutely dreadful oh. if that were to happen. Get that voice away! Not just dreadful. It's rather fucking hopeless, don't you think? Mm. <laughs> And can you guys even endure that? I Everything think so. Everything happened here will just end up being a meaningless game. Everything you felt, mm. awe, friendship, love. There won't even mm. be save data left of it. The wow. The guy you love and the guy you hate grow weaker and skinnier each day they lay immobilized. Wow. And in Hajime's case, his very existence is going to disappear. All because of the academy he loves so much. This is just tripping me out. Will you be able to endure such despair? Who are you going to endure it for? For people mm. you've never met before? For people who don't even appreciate you? Does that sound like hope to you? You uh, can't believe her! That's how she works! Right. That's what she does. To so lure you in. You all toward despair. There mm. is no reason to listen to her. Start the shutdown. Start the shutdown. There oh, we go. What is it? Why are we still waiting? He's like, let's hurry it up. Do you still not understand what's going to happen to the real world if Junko escapes? Right. No, I, I was just... How many oh. victims do you think the biggest, <laughs> most awful, most tragic event in human history is claimed? Right A now, lot. It's finally started to calm down. If mm. Junko Inoshima makes it to the real world, countless victims will fill the streets. Yep. The world will regress to an era of bloodshed, chaos, oh. and worldwide rioting. So that's why you're telling them to start the shutdown sequence? To prevent that? 
<laughs> to prevent you from getting out. <laughs> You're telling them to turn back into ultimate despair and lose all the memories they made in this world. Yes. Even among them, there are those who will simply cease to exist. And you're telling them to just deal with it? Mm. I mean, it sounds bad. At this point, this is the only way. No, no, no. There is another way. What? As long as they choose to graduate, they can pass along their avatar's memories, and mm -hmm. everyone here will be able to hold hands and keep on living. Well, no. Nope. Everyone who died will be taken over by me, but no. Do you think that's a better fate than being a vegetable no. for the rest of their life? No. You guys, you no, can't no, no. Buy into this. Think carefully about which is true hope and which mm. is true despair. We're gonna do the shutdown. What shall we do? The shutdown. You're asking us? God. You're telling us to decide? Of course Damn the game it. will. Why'd it turn out like this? Oh no. Okay, y'all. We gotta. Everyone can overcome despair. Right. You guys should be able to grasp true hope. Uh huh. Can I? Can but I do that? Memories up until now disappear. Huh. I will not even remember. Mm hmm. The reason everybody died. Come on. Are you really going to let her take over your friends' bodies? No, I won't. You might think no, I won't. Cool, but oh? I want to see Pekko one more time. Oh, please, he go, no. We turn back into ultimate despair. No. The future foundation might kill us, right? No, y'all won't do that. do that. Right, they won't do it. This is all the future foundation's fault. Mm. They're the ones who stuck us in this messed up world. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was about to say for for good though. If Jinko escapes to the real world. Mm -hmm. It'll be It'll over. Be countless victims again. It'll be over. Uh, I know, but do the shutdown sequence. Everyone's hope is in conflict. Jesus, such despair. Uh, oh, I can't even shoot it. Graduate or shut down the world or me hope or despair. They're telling us to choose to choose between that. Why? Why do we have to choose? Okay, come on Come on we got we got to shut it down. I'm sorry, huh? Can't do it. Huh? Uh, what? Can't do it. Right. I can't choose. You guys are telling us the world's going to be destroyed unless we sacrifice ourselves. And I mean, I, I can't decide I can't choose either one. Ah, God. Leave me alone. Oh. This, this is just too much. Why do I, mm. why do I have to be a part of this? Mm. I mean, I'm different from the rest of you. And I don't even have a talent. Uh, but even you so, do now. I got dragged into this. And now, my existence is going to disappear? Mm. <laughs> oh, God. I don't understand it at all. Both choices are hopeless. Mm. How much of ourselves do we have to sacrifice? Everything. This burden, don't you dare make us shoulder it. There's mm. no way we can handle this on our own. You That's guys right. got it. Get a hold of yourselves. Right. It's impossible. For someone like me, it's impossible. I can't choose the future. Hope, despair, mm. do whatever you want. It's not my problem. Oh, oh Hajime. And there's no answer. So you've chosen to make no choice at all. No! Jeez. Once again, this went exactly as I expected. I get huh. so hopelessly bored when everything goes according to plan. What? Well, <laughs> since I have everyone's data, I kind of figured things would play out like this. That is, mm. unless something else hopelessly unpredictable happens. Which it will. We're going to make it happen. That. But the chance of something convenient happening is hopeless. After all, mm. this is a game. A world where everything progresses with predetermined harmony. Fine. I guess it's okay. You don't have to force yourself to make a choice. A futureless mm. future. Hm. I think it's fine if that exists too. As long as you don't yearn for hope. That's all she cares about. To despair. That goes for me too. As long as I don't yearn for despair, I'll never need to hope for it. Mm. So... Let's all free ourselves from this curse and stay here as the best of friends. Let's no, we're gonna shut it down. ourselves in this tropical island life forever and ever. No. Forever and ever. Uh-uh. And ever 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 and ever. No. No. Oh? Oh! What's happening? What is happening? We all went negative. 
What is going? Are we back at the damn island? Are we back at the damn island? Oh, look at everybody! Everybody's here! Oh, right. Now what the hell? That. What the hell is and with Neil? This, the world will continue to loop. Mm. An eternal game utopia sounds like fun. No. Okay, wait. What am I doing? I don't know. Right. Again, okay. This yeah. World, whatever. Eternal game. I guess uh -uh. it's fine to stay like this for a while. No. Your master. That is a wise call. No. What is Nihil? Hey, what is that? You have to forget us. No. Yes. There's no way I would forget. No. And with this, Junko's gone. Uh uh. All right. Let's party. No. I'm gonna showcase no. my full cooking ability. Oh, Teru Teru. Just leave the BGM to Ibuki. Oh, Ibuki, you were so hey, nice. Can I take a picture to commemorate this? She was so innocent with her what, camera. To be by the side of my prowess? And he was him. I <laughs> so. you a training regiment. Aw. If you get hurt, let me know. I don't know about you, girl. I don't can know. Can I begin with a brief introduction of myself? Oh, um, <laughs> why is his voice like After that? all this time? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What was this again? Oh, well, there's no need to think about it. I wanted this ending. No. Okay, so we got that. Now, let's get to this. Oh, right. And with this, the world in eternal uh -huh. game utopia sounds like. There we go. There we go. Let's get out of this craziness. Let's get out. Who are you? Huh? Who's he talking to? Oh, Chiaki! My baby! I'm just a part of the game. Oh. But you guys aren't, right? Yeah. Chiaki. Is that you? Oh, my baby. Why are you here? Hmm. I don't know. Does this mean you're my memory of Chiaki? Because Aww. you should have already disappeared. Oh. Oh well. It doesn't matter. Anyway, mm. Don't you think they're messed up telling us the world's going to be destroyed? Yeah. And to sacrifice ourselves? There's no way I can choose. For someone like me. Mm. I'm just not able to choose. You're able to choose. Seriously. I've had enough. I'm tired of being mixed up in all this stuff I don't understand. Not mm. only was I told that I have no talent at all, but if I get out, I'll go back to being ultimate despair. And on top of that, yeah. I was told I'm going to disappear too. Isn't that messed up? A little bit. You don't want that either, right? I mean, if no. If these are memories, there won't be a single trace of your existence left. You're going That's to okay. completely disappear. That's okay for her. will ever remember you. No, I won't. Huh? Mm. Even oh. if I cease to exist, even if you guys never remember me again, that doesn't oh. mean I will completely disappear. As long as oh. everyone continues to move forward toward the future we created together, mm -hmm. I will never disappear. Oh, what baby. What I lived for, fought for, and risked my life for will still exist. Mm. You're right, but... You're probably just scared, right? Yes, Not yes. Not just of disappearing. You're scared of moving toward the future with such a heavy burden. Right? Mm hmm. I'm scared. I'm Aww. I'm terrified of that. Mm hmm. My baby Chiaki, I'm so glad to see her again. He's indecisive. Huh? He's like, make a decision. Do you want to become someone with confidence? Isn't that why you admired Hope's mm -hmm. Peak Academy? He did want to be confident. Even Hope's Peak Academy tricked me. Hajime, you've had it wrong this whole time. Wrong? Mm. Having talent isn't the goal. There's something much more important than whether or not you have talent, right? What's mm. important is that you believe in yourself. If Thank you, you Chiaki. That, no matter how much talent you possess, you will never be confident in yourself. Just mm. like how you were in the past. You? Aww. Hey, who are you? I mean, you should have already disappeared, right? But past mm. Hajime is in the past. So what is she not really? The same Hajime who spent time with me and the others in this world. So it's going to be all right. Hmm. I think it's time you finally had confidence in yourself. Aww. Which, uh, can you tell me something? Which which choice should I make? My hope? Mm. The world's hope? Which one should I choose? Be confident. These are the only ones. Right. 
who have the right to decide your future mm -hmm. and the responsibility too. So you're saying I should choose for myself? But yes. if you can't choose either future, why don't you just create one? Oh. Right? Even if this world is just a game, you guys aren't part of the game. Very you guys true. don't have to just choose a future. You should be able to create one as well. Very true, Chiaki. Someone like me can do that? Since yes. you're not part of the game, you don't have to worry about talent, skill, or level. You mm. guys have a tremendous ultimate move that can overcome anything. I Aww, guess what I'm trying to you. say is, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. <laughs> thank you. If I do it, things will turn out okay. Of mm. course. Games aren't very fun when they're easy to clear. Very true. It'll be boring. But this isn't a game, right? It is. Hey, Hajime, this isn't for the sake of anyone else. Mm. You... You have to do this for yourself. Now then, it's about time you show me your cool side, <laughs> Hajime. Your cool side. I'll help out too. Help? Huh, how's she gonna do that? Oh, oh, that is scary. That is scary. Oh my god, no. I was even betrayed by the academy I admired so much. Oh my goodness. I don't want to disappear. Hmm. I'm not Izuru Kamakura. Yes, no, well, you, Who cares I don't what know. what will happen to the world? <laughs> hmm. I don't want to sacrifice myself. Okay. It's not like I'll be appreciated anyway. Don't, don't say that. Don't say There's that. There's no way we can beat Junko. Don't say that. It's the future foundation's fault. No, it's not. Well, not kind of, mine. but no. Mm -mm. I can't choose the future. Oh my god. See, if you just do it, things will turn out okay. Oh, Chiaki's there. You should even there. be able to create the future. Let's see. Let's do that. Let's create the future. This is me? Is this really me? So uncool. It's totally uncool. I so, have no talent at all. Create the future. There we go. I was even betrayed by the Create the future. There we go. Let's hit I don't it. I want to disappear. Mm -mm. We're going to create I'm it. Not easy to oh, hit it, hit it, hit it. There we go. There we go. I didn't want to miss it. will happen to the world. Create the future. There I we go. I sacrifice myself. Uh-uh. It's not like uh -uh. I'm appreciated. Nope. There's no way we can We're going to shoot out all that doubt. We're going to shoot out all of that doubt. Fault. Get that out of here. Even so, not mine. Nope. Get that out. Even so, I can't choose the future. <laughs> Why does it keep saying even, even so? so I... There we go. <laughs> Say even so, even so. <laughs> oh, Chiaki. No matter what kind of future it oh. is, as long as you guys move toward it, I will never disappear. I didn't think her mouth would start Everything moving. <laughs> here, it won't be meaningless. If you mm. guys carried the burden of both hope and despair, you should even be able to create the future. Thank even if you. it's a convenient miracle. If you just do it, things will turn out okay. That's why you can't Aww. hesitate now. Resolve to throw everything away and give it everything you got. I'll hmm. be cheering for you too. Thank you, baby. Oh, you're like a little angel. <sighs> that reminds me. I forgot to say it again. Hmm. To say thank you? Oh! Awaken! Awaken! Oh! Do I keep pressing it? Huh! Let's see! Let's keep pressing it! Let's keep pressing it! There we go! Let's keep pressing it! Oh God! Uh huh! Oh wait! Did I not do it? ultimate despair. Oh! I got the ultimate bullet. Oh That's what I got. The future foundation, right? I got the ultimate this bullet. This is your responsibility since you're the ones who fell to despair. <laughs> it's not my Akane? It's the future foundations. Akane, no. They're both hope and they're both despair. Huh? A conclusion will never be fucking reached. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You can't lose hope. There we go. The store power. The memories you made here disappear. Okay. Hold on. I will not even remember. Do I have to keep pressing it? Yes. I have to keep pressing it. Keep pressing it. Hold on. Hold if on. We don't rid the world of despair. We got it. The tragedy will start once again. Hold on. We got it. 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 Echo one more time. Now I know. I know you do, baby. I know you, you do. Turn back into huh? despair. This is hurting. <laughs> we might be killed by the future. This is hurting. Right? 
This is your responsibility since you're okay. the ones who fell okay. to despair. Okay. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh, yes, it it's is. The future foundations. Okay, we are gonna get it. We're gonna get it. Both hope and they're both we're gonna despair. get it. Okay. The conclusion will never be fucking. We got it. We got it. Oh, oh wait. Oh shoot. I'm stupid. I gotta. I gotta hold it, my dumbass. I gotta hold it. I'm stupid. I'm sitting there pressing it like I'm supposed to. All right. All right. Whatever. We got it. I. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Oh. Oh wait. Okay, now it's going. It's shooting on its own. The tragedy will start with Okay. We turn back into There we go. There we go. Okay. I was so lost. I'm sitting there. What mashing it? There we go. I'm sitting there butt mashing. There we go. There we go, Hajime. Oh, supercharged Hajime. There will probably be a lot of despair too. Mm. I don't know what kind Ooh, of future look at him. Us, But our futures are ours. Uh huh. Hmm? Who the hell are you? I've decided. Oh. I'm done running He's away. doing like the same thing as uh, what is do with the high morale? I forgot his name. I forgot his name from the first game, but he's doing like almost the same thing that he did. I will fight for my future. I will fight alongside the future that everyone created for me. It's mm -hmm. not for anyone else's sake, but my own. There we go. Don't tell me. Izuru? Oh? Hey, what the heck is going on? I is this a serious bug or something? Oh? I am not Izuru Kamakura. I am Hajime. Uh-huh. Breakthrough! Oh, ooh. We bottle showdown. Hello, the future. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her. Come on. You yearn for, you yearn for oh, I get infinity cut. There we go. I get infinity cut. Let's get it. Uh-uh. Nope. We got her. We got her. We got her. There we go. You don't have to look at the hopeless future. Let's get it all. Oh, oh, retreat. Damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. We got it, we got it. We got it, we got it. I just got it. I just got to get all those other things out the way. There we go. We gonna get her. We gonna get her. There we go. Even so, I... Uh-huh. You don't have to look at the hopeless future. Let's go ahead and cut it. I thought I had to get rid of everything else. Okay. Supercharged Hajime, I like it. <laughs> oh, panic talk. All right, let's do it. Oh. I don't want anything. Ooh. Ooh. You have Ooh. No let's go. I don't have to reload. I don't have to reload. Let's just hit it. Hit it. Hey. 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 No. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. 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 Feeling. Try to hit this. Try to hit it. Try to hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Bam! Bam! Woo! No Woo! 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 Hey! The future will make you suffer. There we go. Bam! 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 We got it. You're not home. You're almost done. 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 Bam! 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 Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! You have no argument. Woo, 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 woo. There's no <laughs> Trying to keep up with the tempo. Trying to keep up with the tempo. Trying to keep up with the tempo. There we go. There we go. All right. won't be able to do it. Oh, that's wrong. Hey. There we go. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you? Why is there a bug like this? All of a sudden, because we're gonna everyone. take you down. Let's shut this game down. Thank you. Don't you get it? If we start the shutdown sequence, we'll. There's it's no all right. Only one choice to make. There's no way I'll allow we'll things create to create way. The future everyone has created for us mm -hmm. should have more possibilities than that. Exactly. Let's leave this place with confidence, and from there we can just create it on our own. Thank the you. The future that we want. <laughs> what are you saying? There's no way something that convenient is going to happen. Oh, really? It's strange if a miracle happened. This mm. isn't a game. 
We can change the future as much as we want. Thank Even you. Even if you talk big, if you leave here, you're just gonna forget everything. That goes for everyone else. Doesn't um, matter. We just have to press these two buttons at the same time. There Correct? we go, Sonia. Um, I wonder. Mm. I do not really understand it myself, but mm -hmm. I just, I just saw it. What, you saw hope? When oh. my body felt so heavy that I could not move. Oh! When I felt as though I was sinking into a deep black sea, it was mm. at that moment I somehow heard Hajime's voice. And though it was just a flash, I saw it. Like a lighthouse oh. beacon shining across an ocean of darkness. Mm -hmm. A warm, yet resolute light. The, the ultimate one who hope. Shined that light, it was probably. Mm hmm. You saw it too. Right, Hajime? The yes, future I did. we are going to create from this moment on. Mm -hmm. It is also the future that everyone has created, right? Then exactly. There is no way we can stop now. Thank you. Seriously, that's a suicidal decision. Mm, she's worrying. I'm well aware it might be an act of suicide. Oh, they're doing There's everybody. No this will play out, but. Hmm. Oh. Heard her voice. Oh, Peko! I think it was the first time she ever yelled at me. Mm. I can't stand on my own two feet if she keeps treating me like a damn kid. Oh, I'm not like thinking about complicated stuff. Mm. If someone's strong worth fighting, I'll mm -hmm. fight. It's just who I am, you know? I know, baby. That's what it means to be confident, right? Then yes, Akane. I'm gonna choose this. There we go. Man. This shit is getting annoying again, but if you're saying you're gonna do it, there's no way I can back out now. Okay, then let's go. If I don't have any place to go back to, mm -hmm. I should at least protect this place no matter what. There you go, Kazuichi. You, you all... Why? Why? Mm. How, how can you guys throw yourselves back into the depths of despair? Because we believe. Uh-huh, yeah. we can make we a new future. future. That's Thank what you. what makes us different from you. We believe that if we try new things, mm -hmm. even difficult things, that everything will turn out okay. We yep. believe we can even create our own futures. There oh, we go. That's, that's impossible. That can't be hope. It's not even despair. Mm. What is this? Yes, Hajime. your doom. Everyone, thank you. Oh? I'm not the one you should be thanking. Thank everybody. Or thank Chiaki. Okay. Damn it, I still gotta be. What the fuck? All right, whatever, whatever. I still gotta be, man. All right. Well, let's get started. Hmm. There we go. I think it would end this easily. Uh huh. It's not the end, right? It's the beginning. This is just the beginning, right? Aww. First, we need to let this game world end, mm. and from that point on, we are the ones who are going to create. Yes. There we go. Uh huh. There is. Get her! Get that AI gone! Oh! Monami! How is she back? <laughs> Fight her, Monami! Get them! Yes! Get her hand! There we go! Get her, Monami! Beat her like you do the Mona Beast! Beat her like you do the Mona Beast! <laughs> there we go! Get her ass! Yup! Uh-huh! Uh-huh! Get her! Get her! There we go. Oh, oh. Uh huh. Get her. <laughs> it's just so funny seeing this little bunny beat her ass. Yes, trap her. There we go. You ain't getting out. You are not getting out. There we go. She's done. She's done. I'll let you see like all the little hearts and everything. Oh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Man, this is absolute despair. Uh-huh. I feel despair upon despair you and despair should. toward despair yet again. You oh, should. Uh, once you but she likes it. the despair I've suffered, <laughs> there's no turning back. Living hmm. in the shadows of past memories. That's too sad, you know? Oh, really? But I guess I no longer, I mm -hmm. no longer have to hope for despair. Mm. Oh. So 
Why did Usami appear? She <laughs> should have already disappeared. I guess it's just as Hajime said. Right. This wasn't the ending prepared for them. This oh? was the ending they created. Are you yes. saying they're moving towards such an uncertain future on purpose? Even yes. so, the only thing we can do now is leave it to them. Oh, it's just so nice to, to see Kyoko soon. again. There is nothing more we can do. Regardless, hmm. there's no need for us to do anything. Wow. Yes. The saviors. I appreciate Byaki now because of this. <laughs> and this world Man, is collapsing. It's collapsing. Yep. Right. Um, I am sorry to trouble everyone, but even but... if we awaken in the real world and forget about what transpired here, it mm -hmm. will still have meaning, right? Of course. Yes, so, of Mina. course. I don't know the proper way to say this. But I, I kind of feel the same way too. You're so hmm. bad at explaining things. <laughs> now that it's the end, you should at least try a little harder. People right. can't change that easily, you know. Well, whether it has meaning <laughs> or not, it all depends on us now. I'm glad that they made it through. I'm glad that this Time's group made it done. through. I'm pretty scared. Don't I be scared too. But it's okay, right? Mm. It makes sense to feel scared, right? That's yes. The future. Hey, oh, little Nekomaru. I'll never forget you guys. Or the others. You guys Aww. better remember me too. My name is Kazuichi Soda. Oh. <laughs> With your colorful personalities, there's no <laughs> way I'd forget you guys that easily. And you, baby I face. I will use all my might and remember. If you start mm. talking weird later, Hajime, uh. I'll beat you up till you turn back to normal. That's right. <laughs> but make sure you hold back as much as you can. Right. Don't kill him. Oh, Hajime. So this is the end, but it's just the beginning. Isn't that right? It doesn't change how scared I am. I can't help feeling scared, so scared, but... Thank you. Thank Aww. you, Chiaki. Oh, he finally said I it. He said it. Oh. Oh, we're gonna... Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Me too. <gasps> Thank you. I'll oh. Never forget about you guys. Oh. I'll never... Ever forget? I'll be Aww, cheering for you guys you. from now on. From somewhere. Thank you, Chiaki. We're all friends after all. Oh, she is just so sweet. Game over. Or not? Oh, chapter six is over. Okay. <laughs> this is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. That's it. We done. <laughs> And so the incident is coming to an end. The incident riddled with absurdity, with nonsense, with sheer irrationality. It's about to lower its curtain. An incident smaller than Hosuke Academy's biggest, most tragic event. Smaller than the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. An incident so small it doesn't even have a name. The world will never know what happened here. Not now, not in the distant future, as long as they remain here. Oh. Apparently they've finished the preparations. Mm. We can leave any time. Wow. I guess we should get going. Hey, Makoto, so they're leaving the island. Is this really okay? You're the one who said, leave the questions to me. <laughs> so I let you take the lead. Are they huh. really going to be okay? Look at them in their little matching suits. Into ultimate despair? I don't think that's the case. I mean, mm. if they did turn back, they wouldn't have said that they'd stay on this island. True. Perhaps they're thinking about helping their sleeping friends. I think I can't so. can't really say for sure, but that's what I believe. Whether mm. they know it or not, the fact that they're already clinging to that feeling shows they're no longer who they were in the past. Right, because they're no it longer, they're trying to have hope. There are too many soft-hearted people here. <laughs> but in reality, the possibility of those who are asleep waking up is close to zero. Mm. Look, well, look, the uh -huh. possibility isn't a problem. Look at Kyoko, the she looks nice. They're still trying to create that future for themselves. In their mm. eyes, that is the future. The smallest possible. It looks so nice. You might as well call it a miracle. Strangely enough, mm. I have a feeling that they'll be able to reach it. They've accepted their hopes and mm -hmm. their despair. And they're trying to create their own future. Right. For people like that, miracles are inevitable. Don't you think? Mm-hmm. As cheesy as ever. Seriously, you haven't grown up at all. <laughs> you haven't grown up? That's the main reason <laughs> we decided to come with you. Well, who cares? 
I guess I'll respect your decision this time. Oh, really? However, what comes next is going to be difficult for us. Leaving them on this island. Mm. If the higher ups at HQ find out about this, it will definitely cause a scene. They're not gonna find out. To work on concealing it. That's right. not a problem. And what do oh. you intend to explain to HQ? Um, about that. I was gonna think about it while I was on the ship. So we don't really have a plan. Good luck. I'm not going to help you that much. Oh, well, thank you, Kyoko. You should at least be glad that we decided to respect your decision. Jeez, Fine. okay. God. Kyoko look nice, okay? <laughs> then let's go back as well. Oh, look at them smiling back at me. Yet. There's still a lot we must do. Besides mm -hmm. the future foundation, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history They keep repeating that finished. so much. We must end this once and for all, mm -hmm. for the sake of the future. It seems I must fight alongside you all for a little while longer. Yes, you will. Yes, there's someone waiting for you to return. Don't oh? make me remember something so horrifying. Oh, he's talking about, um, <laughs> he's talking about Genocide Jack <laughs> or Jill. Let's go. <laughs> we must create our own futures, too. There we go. Oh, that was so sweet. And so, the ordeal has ended. Oh. And from here, our daily lives have started. Lives not, that are much more I mean, absurd, not Nagato. Not Hajime. <laughs> and irrational than before. Things are probably going to be a lot more difficult now. There's mm. no such thing as an answered mystery. It's doubtful whether or not things will even end well. Hmm. So what are they going to do now? The future isn't a path. It's like an endless sea. You can try mm. to go anywhere. But it doesn't mean you'll get there. Okay, Hajime. Even so, I will keep on living. I there will we keep go. on living as Hajime Hinata. There we go. There we go, Hajime. There we go. You are not Izuru. My future lies here. Hmm. Epilogue, the day before the future. Huh, so what did they do? All right, y'all, that is the end of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. I thoroughly enjoyed the series, just as I enjoyed the first one. And I like how um, Byakuya, Kyoko, and Makoto came at the end to come save us. It was like a little, like, Easter egg or a continuation from the first one, and they're trying to make sure that they get rid of all the despair in the world, and it's just so nice. And then I like that. Hajime and the others are making their own future instead of letting things be set in stone. But what I do hope for in the other games is that Junko does not come back, all right? She should not. She should not come back, okay? This is the second time I had to deal with her ass. She better be gone for good this time. But of course, I will be playing the other um, Danganronpa games. I'm not gonna say when, but I'm gonna be playing all of the Danganronpa games because I've said it before, but a lot of people keep asking me every time I post a video, I am going to do all of them. And there's still gonna be someone in the comments saying, are you gonna do all of them? Then probably didn't even watch this part. So <laughs> I will, so don't worry. But I thoroughly enjoyed this game and I hope you guys did too. And if you did like it, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll be back with The Last of Us 2. So I'll see you guys later and deuces.